chat, relax. I was just switching off of the 7TV one because I fucking hate that place. All right? I was just switching off of the bad one and switching back to the normal one. Relax. All right, that one was only a temporary option. We never, we were never planning on keeping that one forever. That was never part of the plan. Dredge sounds like the cousin of Urge. Guys, come on, there's nothing wrong with a bit of dredging around the, around the bottom of the lake. There's not, ain't nothing wrong with dredging a little bit. Getting, a, getting the dredge on. Why do you say it like that? What's wrong with that? And what, pray tell, is wrong with that? Yesterday was trucking, today's for fishing. <clears throat> you know me. Everyone there, everyone knows two games I cannot deny. One's where I drive, and one's where I fish. Yep. Next up will be either hunting or farming, no doubt. No doubt. up yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be a it's gonna be a good time it's gonna be a good time gonna fly with an gonna fly another VTOL buddy there actually was a DLC for VTOL VR at some point lawman and I will do what we had originally planned to do and actually do that VR stream the co-op VTOL VR stream, but I just, dude, setting up VR on its own fucking sucks. Setting it up for two people sucks even more, okay? The only novelty of doing this is that with the new co-op vehicle for that game, uh, you can reach over your teammate's seat in the plane and fuck with their controls like actually like fucking pull levers and shit if you have far enough reach which I think is fucking awesome I think that one's good can you eject them god I fucking hope so <laughs> god I fucking hope so that would be actually that would make it worth it I'd really love to just like turn around and just throw them right out of the plane. But alas, today we dredge. Today all we're going to be doing is dredging. All right. Yep. Now yeah, this game might be quietly a little bit of a haunted game. This might, this, this one might have, this one's got some eldritch undertones. But like, what games don't? You know what I mean? What games don't nowadays? You know, which ones don't? Every, all of them do. All, every game is haunted. They're all haunted. Not bug snacks. What the fuck are you talking? Did we play the same game or did you stop playing? Did you like only get halfway through? Surely you only got halfway through you guys say that. <laughs> Yo, that game might be the most haunted one of all. Bug Snacks did nothing wrong. That game is literally a horror game. It literally is. Mm. 
What's the most haunted game? Dude, no doubt, bro. No doubt. Amnesia the Dark Descent, dude. No doubt, bro. Without a doubt in my mind. It's gotta be Amnesia, dude. No doubt. Hey, Benj, thanks for the raid, man. Hope you like this game, because I saw you were playing it. I couldn't, like, click on your stream, though, because I, I thought it was going to spoil me on the fish. It's red? That's good. That's good. I, I've been quite excited to play this game. I don't usually get excited for games anymore, because every time I get excited, they let me down. But this one I've actually been actually excited for. Yep. Fish spoilers. <laughs> All right, get that guy out of here, mods. Why are you so slow on the draw? Of all times, you need to speed it up today. I don't want any fish spoilers. Dude, look at how many chat members just got spoiled with Trisha in the game. There's only so many. What the hell? End game spoiler, Joe. What the fuck? What the heck? He's gonna make me ban Joel. We might have to, unfortunately. If this keeps up, we might have to. Why can't I see Joel anymore? We switched it back to BTTV, uh, where it should have been and where it was originally the whole time. So, uh, you might need to refresh. I like all my emotes on one thing. And I hate 7TV. <laughs> I literally only used it so that I could put Joel back on because everyone started frothing at the mouth when for some reason Joel was disabled on BTTV for like a week. That's the only reason. Okay, we're not gonna we're probably not gonna do a super long intro today because I actually do want to play this game So we're gonna keep it somewhat short today Not many times come around where there's a game I want to play you know what I mean He hates us dude li I literally spent an entire stream yesterday Basically just talking to all of you because what else was there to do while I was fucking actually just driving a car like, what do you fucking mean? You, what do you mean? And you hated every second of it. What can I say? What, what, and what can I, what can I say? That sounds like an all of you problem. Sounds like something you guys gotta work on. Hates us, hates America, hates Lolly Lule Lo. Lolly Lule Lo. Don't talk about Metal Gear Solid around me ever. I swear to God, I will take you down. Don't ever even reference it. If you ever say anything that references anything about Metal Gear Solid ever, if you ever say the Patriots, I swear to God, I will activate. You, you don't want to see me activate, okay?
Dude, I saw the Breath of the Wild uh, gameplay trailer. The 10 minute thing they did today. Damn, man. They really gotta, like. I, I just. Here's the thing I know it's gonna be fun, but holy shit. It looks exactly the same, which made me feel bad because it means that Nintendo really did kind of push the Switch as hard as it would ever go last time. And the Switch has nowhere else to go visually, which means it's going to be just as fucking crusty at the end of the day as the last one. They're keeping a lot closer to their chest. I'm not, I have no doubt the game will be good and it will be fun to play. Cause obviously that's the stuff they're keeping to themselves. But if they had actually de like better visuals to display on hand right now, uh, they'd be showing it in the first real 10 minute long form uh, gameplay trailer they're releasing to the public. So this is really the best it's gonna be. Uh, you know, it's just like, damn man. It feels like at some point Nintendo really does need to like, I don't know. It's just, Nintendo's always done good by not really playing along with like the hardware game race, but at a certain point, uh, the Switch is, was outdated three years ago. <laughs> the Switch was already, it really, it really did need a Switch Pro. I don't know what happened. Maybe because, you know, I think I feel like I, if there was a Switch Pro that was ever like on the way, I'm guessing that when like all the shortages happened as a result of like COVID and all that other shit, I'm guessing that kind of threw a, like, wrench in that. If it even was gonna happen. Because there would have been just massive shortages anyways, and no one would have been able to get one. They really aren't a large company. Do you miss the slash sarcasm at the end of that? You missed the sla- you forgot to do the slash S at the end. I felt the slash S. I chat, I, if there's one thing I've learned from reading Twitch chat though, I can't assume at the, the slash S. I'm not allowed to do that. I, I, I'm not allowed to do that. Nintendo will never make a Switch 2 because it would force people to swap over to just play new games. Well, here's the thing. I wouldn't be shocked if Nintendo is very wary about making a sequel to anything or releasing another console after the Switch with how terrible the Wii U was received. I'm guessing there is a genuine concern of, hey, the Wii U bombed so fucking bad that it almost fucking tanked our company into the ground. Uh, and if it wasn't for the Wii continuing to sell insanely well perpetually after the Wii U's launch, um, Nintendo would be in a much different spot than they probably are today otherwise. So I'm guessing there's also like a, hmm, Maybe, maybe we, maybe we hold off as long as we can. But damn, the Switch is, the Switch is rough right now, dude. I imagine Breath of the Wild 2 and Splatoon 3 DLCs are the big swan song. It's just like, but here's the thing. I, I guess I'm in like, uh, uh, the thought process of like, I would rather these games that take five years to make come out in their best form ever than knowing that they've come out in the best form of an outdated piece of shit console that is no longer really like standard for most people today. You know what I mean? So it's like, oh cool, this game is gonna be great and stuff, but I'll always just be thinking, well, it'd be a lot better in the console that they released a year later that's like runs 10 times better and has like five times the like processing power, et cetera, et cetera, you know? That's kind of where I'm at. And the saddest part about this one is that it's not even gonna have a Wii U port, so there won't be any emulator that fixes all the visual problems and makes it actually impressive in like a year's time. There won't be any emulation of it to my knowledge, right? Because it's, because the only reason the Breath of the Wild one had the Simu support was because it was a Wii U game, technically. There is no emulator for the Switch, I don't think. There is. Yeah, but I mean like, here's the thing. 
there is, and then there's there is one that's actually accessible to people that don't know a billion things about emulation. Like there's Simu was relatively accessible. I I definitely hesitate to assume that one of these Switch emulators actually works. There is, but it's nowhere near as good as Simu. Yuzu works well, but it can't run things nearly as well. Dude, a lot of people in chat are saying a lot of things, and I, I, I don't know, dude. Part of me also just assumes that not every single one of you has actually used them. Like, I feel like a couple have, but there's like, I've got a wall of people saying they emulate Switch games now, and I don't really believe that. But I mean, hey, maybe it's better off. Maybe it's better along than I than I thought. Because I would definitely, there's a point where I would definitely think that this Breath of the Wild sequel is going to be truly at this point going to be receiving a little bit of flack from me upon release for the hardware it runs on, you know? Because like the whole time I was playing fucking like Monster Hunter Rise, I was looking for exits to find like the PC version of this fucking game because I couldn't play it on Switch anymore. You know? It looks like a big DLC to me. Yeah, but the thing is, like, they've put enough time into this game that it's going to be a gigantic DLC. I don't really believe that Nintendo would spend this much time on this game and hold off on releasing gameplay of this game when it does look like Breath of the Wild again. There's gotta be some, like, there's gotta be a lot of gameplay in there beyond what, they, what they're showing. There's gotta be a lot in there with how long this game has been developing to like display visuals that are just Breath of the Wild again. You know, like there's gotta be, there's, that means there's a ton of other stuff in there. That, that or maybe I'm coping hard, but I mean like, I'll, I, I will also say that I, if the game sucked or was underwhelming, it wouldn't, I wouldn't lose any sleep. Although I hope they do dungeons better this time, because holy shit, if it's just those animals again, if it's just the awful, literally the awful dungeons they did for Breath of the Wild, I will just give up and not get through it this time. I will genuinely, that'll be like the breaking point for me, is if the dungeons are bad. I was able to accept it for Breath of the Wild because the novelty was there. The novelty is not going to be there for the open world this time. I already did it in Breath of the Wild 1, so this time they better do good dungeons. It better. Like, it, it better, but I don't feel like it's going to because they give you all the tools for the Legend of Zelda traversal and stuff. At least they did in Breath of the Wild. I'm going to assume it's the same thing again, considering the tra like the thing they did today showed all of the tools, all the new tools. Well, most of the new tools, I'm assuming. I'm going to guess they give you all of them up front again, which means all the dungeons are going to be the same kind of thing. Where you, there's no... There's no stretch of time in those dungeons where you're learning a new mechanic, where you're learning how to interface with a new tool and like learning how that actually works for you. You know. Have you played Phoenix Rising? No. Much like most people. Although I did hear that game was okay. It's just, Ubisoft's brand is like poison. <laughs> and the second I knew it was a Ubisoft game, I lost interest in it and never played it. It's bad when you put out a, such a name for yourself in the like industry as like the guys who make the same game across every genre, the guys who just copy things they saw from somewhere else and then like, like make it like a little bit worse or like change just slight things about it to the point where like I look at any game with a Ubisoft brand mark and just assume it's that and give up on it right away and shrug. At some point, maybe I'll play that game and enjoy it, but like I have to be in a real mood to play a fucking Ubisoft game.
I gotta be in a real mood. But Beyond Good and Evil 2, though, yeah, that game's coming out. <laughs> it's... It'll be here. You be, you, Wulong uh, is a wannabe Sekiro. I'm not sure it's exactly 100% true, but I'll also say I haven't played it. I've only seen what my friends have played of it. And uh, watching that game happen uh, and knowing that Neo came before it, I can't help but feel like I wish they had just made a Neo 3 and continued to work on those mechanics because Neo 2 was genuinely amazing. Like, I loved Neo 2. It had some shit map design, as all of their games have had. And if they just worked on their worlds and their storytelling, those games could easily be like genuine, like game of the year shit. The problem is they just focus on this one part and then they didn't even like, then they just switched entire game like styles this time. Neo 2 is awesome. I love Neo 2. Damn, man. Damn, man. I think Neo 2 has a randomizer, actually. I actually looked that up recently. There's a randomizer for Neo 2, I think. That's gotta be cursed, dude. Neo's got a lot of bullshit in it. That's actually probably like... When I did Sekiro randomized like a long time ago, that was incredibly difficult because the game is very gameplay. Like, it, when you play a Dark Souls randomizer, there are certain cheesing things you can do to beat them. Like any enemy, like any enemy you run into, there's a certain level of things you can do. In like Sekiro, you run into a strong enemy, they run you down, they kill you. Like they're way more aggressive and they can fucking absolutely hunt you down no matter where you are on a map, which made it really hard to do the randomizer. I feel like Neo 2 randomized would do the same thing where like it would be less of the Dark Souls. Oh, I can still do this. It's just going to suck and more of the oh, it command grabbed me from across the map and broke every bone in my body by slamming me into a wall 18 times in a combo. skill issue probably a little i'm actually i've actually ordered uh i've ordered a new ps4 that is pre-jailbroken for a i'm gonna try to set up bloodborne randomized for a stream that one will be more of the Sekiro style i can only assume but i should be able to set up a 60 fps bloodborne randomizer for a stream. Does that break TOS? Shh. Sony would have to care, and they don't even know Bloodborne exists. So shh. Shut the fuck up. In order to in order to do that, they'd have to acknowledge Bloodborne, which they never will. Plus, I own the game, so I don't think... I, I actually genuinely don't think it is. There's nothing I'm doing that's, uh, like, actively, I think, violating anything on Twitch. But yeah, also, usually those things loop around to, uh... You know, it's like the same thing. Like, there's really not much difference between that and, like, emulating. <laughs> so it's more of a, like, really, if Nintendo wanted, they could fucking square up and take down everyone that was emulating their games on Twitch. They're not going to because there's a, that's insane. Like, these companies don't want to fucking do that. All right. These companies don't want to fucking do that. Not the, it's going to be fine. Nintendo would, but they haven't. <laughs> so they won't, and they don't. I think Nintendo's learned a little bit uh, since um, since the old days of like six years ago. Uh, they've chilled out a little. A little. At least as far as like the public, like, oh, someone's streaming an emulated modded version of Pokemon or something. They chill out a little. Not so much when it comes to developers, but that's not, as much as that sucks, that's not my problem. 
Uh, I'm concerned about the industry film, like, you know, video content production side. I don't have, I don't, that's not my, that's not my zone. How long till AI makes a Pokemon game? Probably not very long. Probably not very long. You think game, you think like big companies like AAA developers and shit and publishers aren't gonna try to like use AI to like cut out work for their games? Yeah, right. Yeah, right. I saw a thing where Ubisoft is like using AI to like write part of this like a, the original draft of like dialogue for NPCs for side quests in their games. And I'm like, yeah, that's fucking epic. <laughs> that's, now Ubisoft, that's epic. <laughs> that's, that's badass, man. Holy shit. Damn. Worst dialogue ever incoming. AI could write better dialogue than some of Ubisoft's side quests. I'll tell you what. Okay, that's not even me joking. I can hardly blame Ubisoft for getting involved in AI. We all saw for spoken, dude. There's a chance that AI could do it better. We all saw what we saw. I was there, dude. I was on Ground Zero. I watched. I watched it happen. That was Square Enix? I know, but I'm saying, like, the point I'm making is that these games have awful dialogue and... I mean... It's only a matter of time. Now that Ubisoft's done it, Square's gonna do it. They're all gonna do it. I'm not saying it's the right choice. I'm not saying it's good. But they're gonna do it. They're gonna do it. Can't get a lawsuit for forcing AI to crunch. Truly. And the quality would be about the same as the level of effort that a, like a fucking underpaid poor writer for one of these games that's forced to crunch and like fucking like get all this shit together. You know, you don't have to, you don't have to worry about the AI. The AI won't have to sleep. It sucks, but that's just what it is. It's cursed. It's cursed, man. Is this game gonna be a sludge-like or more of a slop light? Ah, uh, this is gonna be a sludge-like. For sure. Tomato would never replace me with an AI moderator, right? Look to your left. Do you see Nightbot? You know how you have management options for Nightbot? You are training your replacement. You are slowly, look, look at, look at what you're doing. You are training your replacement. And your replacement is a robot. Nightbot arises. All right, guys, I heard Nightbot's getting a chat GPT functionality integration soon, and that's really when it pops off. That's really when it pops off, when it can start talking to us. Give me a nice comment for a streamer named Tomato. I typed this into chat GPT, and it fucking crashed. That's not true, man. That's not true, man. That's not true, man. And that's hurtful if it is. And even if it wasn't, the fact that you said that is really hurtful. That's that's fucked up, man. 
Check Discord literally true. I'm... Dude, fuck off. I can't believe I just clicked on my Discord to check. Fuck off. Leave me alone. It's true. No. No! No! <laughs> no! That sounds like a you problem. That's not even like about me. That's something for, funny for you to say. That's not my problem. That's a, that's your problem. Hey, Tomato Gaming. Your streams never fail to brighten up my day with your contagious energy and unique humor. The community you've built here is amazing and I'm grateful to be part of it. Keep up the fantastic work and thanks for all the fun times. Tomato emoji uh, gamepad emoji. Real chat GPT response. Damn, man. I preferred it when it didn't say anything at all. Paid chat GPT message. <laughs> well, what happens if you tell it to start over? Maybe it gets better if you give it another second. This is not how I go down, dude. This can't be how I fucking go down. This is not, this ain't right. This ain't right. <laughs> this ain't right, I don't deserve this. I don't deserve this. There are nice ones, but they're like a paragraph long and no one has fucking time for that. So maybe tell Jet GBT to keep it to like 140 characters. Like let's keep let's keep it to a default original tweet. Wow, okay, I told it to keep it to 140 characters and it told me to fuck off. All right, well that's good. That means the AI actually has some respect for itself and doesn't just listen to orders as they get more and more ridiculous. That's good. I'm glad ChatGPT is figuring this out. It has a spine. Damn. You're telling me the AI is resisting human orders? No, no. Tomato, your streams are a burst of fun and entertainment. Your passion for gaming and engaging personality make every viewer feel welcome. Hashtag keep streaming success. All right, the hashtag is what locked that in as an AI message. For sure, for sure. Because I, I literally can't imagine anyone, any human would ever type that. <laughs> An actual hashtag that just absolutely dude I don't know I don't know dude hey tomato gaming just wanted to say your stream is always the highlight of my day thanks for providing such entertaining content and keeping the chat lively hashtag tomato gaming hashtag stream team who's the stream team what is that? Why is this? Why is ChatGPT adding like hashtags to my brand? Hashtag bozo, hashtag L, hashtag fell off, hashtag comfort food. It re these are real. Like I was reading them posted in the chat as like a, like copy and paste, but like, that's real. That's actually something that ChatGPT was like, yeah, that hashtag adds up. Yeah, that checks out. I'm getting that in there. Hashtag tomato gaming, hashtag stream team. What?
Damn, man. Dude, literally ChatGPT is gonna replace all of you in like fucking two years, I'm telling you what. I'm telling you what. Yeah, why don't you guys don't just give me a solid go over to ChatGPT and vet your message. Just ask ChatGPT to write your messages for you, okay? Let's just be make this chat a little bit better. All right, let's make this chat a little bit better. How about you all go over there and just uh, ask them to make the messages for you? A streamer who streams only to a bunch of chatbots sounds dystopian. Isn't that many streamers? Like, dude, that's like, that's just a product of like being online on a platform that has bots that you can technically like get through like, through various means, you know what I mean? You're all basically bots, you say the same things. You're basically there. We have some variety. If I click on your fucking name and one of your last 10 messages is an Omega lull, it's over, okay? All right, you're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're lucky, you're lucky. This guy's actually got some variety. But I really thought I had him dead to rights out there. Cause I know that's not the, that's not the fucking majority. I know that for sure. Fuck you, I like laughing at tomato. <laughs> Dude, yeah, no, that's another thing. Instantly disqualified if I scroll up and you've ever done Joel followed by looking, dude. All right, if you've done that, you are a bot. You're basically a bot. You're a bot. Bro, you're doing it yourself in other chats. I've. What are you talk? Did this guy just try to fabricate things I say in my friends' chats? Because I literally don't talk in my friends' chats. I'll say like one thing in Sam's chat. It's me calling him a fucking bozo or some shit. Like something absolutely toxic that you should never say to a good friend. Like I don't do that. I sometimes crongo. Sometimes. Sounds like you lack variety. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. No way you just did that to me, man. I'm so tired of chat being funnier than me. All right, that's it. We're switching to the fish game. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and then we're gonna start. I'll be right back. Tomato, you're like a pineapple on pizza. Controversial, but some of us just can't resist your cheesy goodness. One, nasty message. Absolutely fucking awful. I hate it. Two, I'm not controversial. What do you mean? I, dude, I'm relevant. As far as a lot of other streamers I see and what they're up to, I'm very safe. I'm pretty safe, dude. Like, I, I don't think people have to be that ashamed to have me on, like, 
speaker. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, like sometimes I'll cuss, but like I, I have seen some, some nasty, nasty shit. All right, out here. I am, I am a known, I'm a good guy. All right. I try to stay, keep positive. You know, what's so wrong with that? I'm a good guy. I'm all right. I've, I've, I've never, I've never wished death upon anyone in real life, simply in Minecraft. And what's so wrong with that? Sure, I've on record griefed people's houses on my like public, uh, like you know, streamer Minecraft server. Sure, I've done that. Sure, I've done that a couple of times when people have made me mad. Sure, I do that. But like that doesn't make me a controversial streamer. Sure, I've had I've I've had like uh you know. I, I've, sure, sure that I've had like a, a, this guest named Dave on a couple of times who has proceeded to say things that I would uh, never dare allow onto any kind of like public, uh, you know, stream ever. And he just does it and then I let him on again and again, which therefore shows that I reinforce those exact same things he's saying as like funny. They're like, sure, like I do that, but that, that's just because I'm easily like, you know, I, I don't, I, I'm a good guy. All right, I'm a good guy. <laughs> I'm a good guy. Anyways, it's time. Tomato the toxic enabler. I just can't help. What's so wrong with watching someone else destroy their brand live on my stream? What's so wrong with simply giving them a platform to destroy themselves? You know? If that's if that's a crime, then throw me in jail. Lock, like lock me up and like destroy the key. All right, I don't care. It's nothing nothing wrong with that. That's literally enabling, dude. You gotta <laughs> you gotta give me a break here. All right, come on. It's what what it's called is literally funny. AF, dude. AF. All right. It's time. Dread. Yep. Time to get to fishing. It's been quite a while. Been quite a while since we've gone fishing. Yep. Angler wanted. That's my character. Just a crusty old fishmonger. He's got that hunch. Oh wait, no, that guy died. Wait a minute. Was that me? Oh no, I'm fine. That was some other that was some other boat. The morning light fills your eyes and you try to sit upright. You're lying on the cold, wet dock where you collapsed the night before. A short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarking from a boat nearby. The man notices you. Welcome to Greater Marrow, I must say. Quite the dramatic first impression. I see you've already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks below the bay. Did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Ah, well, I'm glad to see our new fisherman upright and breathing. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I've had a few of the locals move your things to one of our old vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss more details. I'll let you get out of here to catch some fish. See if you can fill your cargo while you get your bearings in the light. Finally, I don't suppose I need to say this, but get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on the time. It can really creep up on you. Well, at least we're alive, you know, and catastrophically in debt. So right now I've got a boat speed of 24 knots, fishing speed of 85%, zero lights, catchable fish types, coastal only. And I got one job, fill up my cargo with fish. You didn't have to ask. Here's a map of the area. We're at the Marrows. It's also Stellar Basin. Okay, cool. 
Good thing this game lets you change text colors for tomatoes do and eyes. Dude, no joke. Not actually like joking around right now. I literally instantly changed positive color from like the green to yellow because there was a green and then another green and they were just similar enough that I was like, I'm not gonna actually like clock these. Like there's gonna be a point where I fucking miss one of those two. I literally went and changed it. And I think more games should have that kind of stuff. There's nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with accessibility. All right. Move forward with W, you just have to reverse, turn with A and D. Well, Chad, all we gotta do is uh, fish up some fish and uh, we'll be, we'll be right as rain. Move to a fishing spot, look for splashes on the surface and press F to start fishing. All right. This is cute. What did you just say? Did you just say you think this game, there ain't nothing cute about fishing. Okay, and if you've seen the things I've seen, you wouldn't be calling it cute at all. All right, you'd be a little bit, you'd be a little, a little bit more wary with what you say. Cause fishing seems, and I've seen a fish on a line pull a man into the water and then the whole school that was with that fish ripped him to shreds. They weren't even piranhas, they were cods. All right, they were just cods. Just a bunch of cods ripped that man to shreds. Okay? Disturbed water. All right, we're gonna fish this up. Cargo's looking good. All you gotta do is press F at the right times you got it, and that's a blue mackerel. We're gonna put that right inside the load, and we'll do it again. Nothing wrong with catching just a couple of blue mackerels. These guys are easy. You get, a lot, you get a little bit of money out of these things. And there's also, remember, there's nothing wrong with hunting and fishing a creature to extinction. Which is why I'm going to completely exhaust this fish to the point where there's none left. Yep, and they're all gone. All right, what else we got here? Right click turns on my lights, that's cool. Do everything, foghorn. I don't wanna like hurt, like scare people. We'll save that for now. But with a spyglass, I could actually zoom in and check what these different things are in the distance. What else we got? Time only moves forward if you're moving or doing an action, so I'm not actually like burning any time right now. Looks like I can fish up whatever that is over there, so that's what we're gonna do right in front of us. It's a different kind of fish. Cod! Oh! My best friend was that man who got devoured. Oh, that was actually a golden cod. Golden. That's worth a billion dollars. I already won. I already won the whole game. Instantly a trophy card. Yeah, we're playing a little bit of we're playing a little bit of like inventory management. Yep. And they're all dead. <laughs> they're all gone. They're all gone. Hang on. One second, chat. Okay. Time only advances when you're moving, fishing, and taking other specific actions. All right, well, uh, can't even fish up those. Those are from the shallows. I guess we'll get some more blue mackerel and cod and then head on back. It's only 1 p.m. We got plenty of time before the sun sets. We got plenty of time. Gonna fish up some more of this here, uh, cod. Get those loaded up. Catch a couple more and we'll be good to go. All right. I mean, then again, it would also be cool if I just, hang on, if we move that, then I can move that up and that means I can catch one more. Oh yeah, piece of cake. Now that's how you load up the thing. 
I don't think there's any way that I could fit a last, uh... I could fit in one more mackerel if I, or two more mackerel if I get rid of these two cod. And then I'd have a full load, which I think would be more impressive than bringing in just, like, a tiny bit of space left. So I'm gonna discard this. We have, we got, Chuck, there ain't nothing wrong with a little bit of evening time. It's not middle of the night. It's just a little bit of evening time fishing. Nothing wrong with that. We'll just, we're coming back with a full load anyways. Look at that. Select your lights by holding E, then toggle them with right click. Okay. Look, it's... It's only 7 p.m. The, the, the lighthouse is high in the sky. We'll just swing on back to town and drop off this fish and go to sleep. Golly, it got really dark. Huh. Well, um, I'm gonna head on. Hang on. That's special squid. That's probably better than the blue mackerel. Maybe we're right at the chat. We're, we're right at the exit. Well, let's grab some. Let's grab some of these squid. Let's just grab a couple squid. You know, let's just grab a couple. They're probably more valuable than the mackerel. They only probably come out at night. Get rid of some of the mackerel. Exposure to fog and other things increases your panic. Bright lights and sleeping will reduce it. Maybe we, uh... Yeah, maybe we head on back now. We're, uh, we're right by the town. Let's just... What the hell? What is that? It's like a... There's a beam in the sky. All right, well, let's uh, see Aurora Borealis. Yeah, that's that's what it is. Yeah, we'll just sell what we got at 10 p.m. to the local m midnight fishmonger. You step onto the dock at Greater Marrow. The mayor is waiting nearby. Ah, I see you've returned in one piece. Very good. You head off before you head off to town. We should discuss the matter of your boat. As I mentioned earlier, your old boat was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm more than happy to sell you that replacement vessel. Yours to own. I understand you may not have the necessary funds on hand, so we'll consider it a loan. But I want to make this very... But I want to make this easy for you. Until your debt is repaid, a tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards paying it off. A small amount of interest will go towards improving the town. So to recap... You'll need to sell fish at the local market, paying off your debt in turn, keeping the population fed and satisfied. Understand? Where do I sell fish? Our local fishmonger will appraise and purchase what you catch. He's open all hours. Before you off you go then, sell those fish while they're still fresh. Can I just sell my can I just do the entire loan and then just move on to making money? You enter the squalid shack on the fringe of the marketplace. The familiar smell of fish fills the air. Flies buzz haphazardly around. A downcast man behind a counter. You the new fisherman, eh? Surprise they found a new one so fast. What happened to the other one? He. It takes a certain type of person to last out here. It's not life for everyone. Anyway, the business. I'll pay you for fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are just worth more, too. Other towns on other islands might pay you different, but while you still got a debt outstanding here, I'd suggest you work on paying it off first. So let's see what you got. I got a $21 uh, trophy cod. I sold everything for $154. That's not bad. All right. Does that pay off my debt? How much do I still have? The mayor is standing outside the fishmonger store. This guy needs to get like a hobby. <laughs> this guy, this guy's been following me around all day and night now. This dude needs a hobby. He needs a life. The mayor is standing outside the fishmonger store. Excellent work. I have no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. Look here, I found this down by the docks. I'm sure someone like you could make something of it. Why don't you take it? Research part. A curious looking component could be used to develop new equipment, but would need some investigation at the dock first. Okay. 
And one last thing. Our local shipwright mentioned she might be able to make some modifications to your ship. You should pay her a visit. Okay. As you walk into the yard, you see the shipwright making repairs to a damaged hull. She looks up at you briefly before turning back to her work. Ah. You must be the new fisherman. I can make improvements to your vessel in the yard. Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favors around here. Payment is up front and everything takes some time to install. Also, if you take any damage from the rocks or any damage at all, I can patch it up, mostly. She shrugs and gestures towards the hull she's currently attempting to repair. A number of wooden boards, all well above the waterline, are splintered and scratched. Ah. Take a look around, just remember... The bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install, so plan ahead. Okay. So right now we have a basic fishing pole which lets us catch coastal fish. We probably want to get one that lets us also catch, sh like, uh, catch shallow fish. That's gonna take two hours to install. I'd also like to uninstall this and move it here. Cool, cool. Yeah, for now, because that's expensive. We're not gonna have that weighted line for a while. All right, we have $79.76. I'd like to buy a light bulb. Oh. 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 Oh, it's $100 for a light bulb for the for the boat. It's $100. $100, chat. Well, I'm going to... Listen, chat, we don't have time to be sleeping through the night. We have to... Hang on, I have research to do. Uh, let's see. With one research part, I could upgrade... Okay, I mean, like, I'm gonna get a hydraulic rod. Sure. Now available in stores. That's, that is a two by two thing, but at least now it's on sale so I can buy it. And it only cost me one research part. All right. You know what, chat? Let's, what's a little bit of nighttime fishing without a light bulb in the rain? What's a little bit of nighttime fishing? Wait, do you guys see that? In the distance. What is that? Come on! We'll be able to tell where we are from echolocation, chat. That's how it works. Check this one out. Once I get out there and I grab what I'm looking for, we'll just use echolocation to find where we are. Oh, that's the how. I don't know how that goes, bro. Uh oh, that's all. Let me try that again. Huh? But that, but then that should have done it. A Huh, well, sun's coming up, so I'm gonna go get that thing and just kind of not concern myself with whatever all that was. It's a weird night out there. Let's grab, it looks like a bottle. Twenty-first of August, nineteen twenty-seven. We had a slight accident yesterday around the shallows at the back of Greater Marrow. A rock seemingly appeared out of nowhere and struck the front of the boat. It did not penetrate the hull, but it jostled us around, and a few items fell overboard into the water. We did not see where they, what they were, which is of some concern, but we believe all important articles are accounted for. He's been checking over some notes from the boat renaming ceremony. He's paranoid that he performed the steps incorrectly. I've never known him to be so superstitious. Well, wow, that's interesting. So this gives me, like, details on all of the fish. Blue mackerel, practically worthless. Okay. Cod, plentiful and basic, worth, uh, quite a bit more money than a mackerel. Uh, squid, yeah, squid's a better catch than a mackerel, that's for sure. What the hell is that? Is that a fucking tornado? I'm not worrying about that. Let's stay within the safety of our bay. Yeah, of this, uh, of this lovely little... Patch of land. 
and not go outside the rocks anymore. Dredge. Unfortunately, we don't have the hardware to dredge. Damn, dude. I thought this was a dredge like. Why can't we dredge in it? Oh, we got. We can catch whatever this is. Stingray. That is a big fish. All right. Catch that one. We'll catch a couple of these. I bet they sell for quite a bit. Get a couple of those. All right. And they're extinct. And we extincted them. Hang on, where's my... The spyglass is really good. And that's not a stingray. All right. Is that... Is, is that one of them funny fish? Hang on, I think this might be one of them funny fish. Look at this fucking idiot, dude. I fucking love these guys. Look at this idiot. Look at this bozo. Look at this flat fuck. You know? All right, well, he feels uh, too bad. We can only really fit one of him. Unless I do some insane inventory management. Check this one out. Okay, that did nothing and actually made shit worse for me. <laughs> All right, we can't fit that guy no matter what. We can't fit a second one. We're done with them. I want the man array more. Is that card? We do need some of these. We just need money. Right now, money. No way, I just extincted them. All right, they're gone. I guess we'll load up with the rest blue mackerel, unless that's caught over there. That's something I've never seen before. Eel. Eel, chat. Eel. It looked like eel. Eel. A trophy eel. That's how you know I'm good at this game. Alright, I instantly caught a 90 centimeter fucking trophy eel. Okay, I fucked up again. I did this thing again where I don't- I just don't know. Oh frick. There's just no way to fit this one. There's just literally no way to do it. Well. Slash me destroys eel. Just slash me grabs it and breaks it over my knee. And throws the discarded shattered parts back into the water so they can regrow. Goodbye. The lighthouse towers above. Waves crash endlessly against the perilous rocks below. All creatures, human or otherwise, would have their brittle bodies broken and thrown at its feet. You ponder the intrinsic power of this structure, a vast column of stone, shouldering the responsibility of countless lives. How long will it stand? How long until it decays into ruin, its purpose exhausted? The lighthouse tower is above. Ah, uh, well, um... Don't care. Am I gonna die? I think I just, like, should not have done this. Oh, we're okay. Alright. Let's, uh, let's swing this. Hang on. Is that mackerel? Oh, that's mackerel. Let's load up on a little bit more mackerel. Let's at least try to fill up the ship a little bit. And we're done. Dude, I think my dream job would just be a lighthouse keeper on a lonely island. Are you fucking sure? There's a lot of things about how that goes wrong. Are you sure that's your dream? My dream job wouldn't be like, oh, I want to be like a fucking like rock hauler and like a spaceship in the future. Are you fucking sure, dude? Every time I see, are you like, there's some jobs where it's just like, these are always cursed. Like, I don't think I'd want to do lighthouse worker. I want to be a fucking like, I want to be a goddamn, like, night, middle of the night janitor for a spooky school. Dude, what? I don't know. My dream job. Fishmonger. I had a special order come through for a customer. If you can fulfill it, I'll pay you above normal prices. Tell me about it. They asked for one gold flounder and one great eel. Just bring them in and when you have them. 
You'll need to have a rod that can handle shot. Dude, I'm so ahead of you. You have no fucking idea. Yeah, I got them already, dude. I already got them. Holy crap, I'm good. But this is my trophy eel. I don't think I want to sell them the trophy eel. It's probably going to sell better when I sell it manually. Yeah, I'll get another. Evidently, I've been getting one constantly all the time. $60 rounded up. Fishmonger wraps up the fish and hands you some money. Good, good. They should be pleased with this. I got another order here. This one's a little more curious. They want a couple of squid and a whole black grouper. Don't see many people fishing squid these days. They only feed at night and well... You know what gnats are like around here? Good luck. What? Huh? What? But they're, they're just knights, man. All I heard was some weird- Really? 180? Fuck off. Well, I can- I can go ahead and buy that bulb I wanted. We'll get the- we'll get the nice one. Dude, this thing's 170, like, lumens, dude. Wait, hang on. How much is it? Dude, I was super wrong! It's actually 750 lumens! You turn this thing on, and it melts your fucking face off. Like you just opened up the Ark of the Covenant, dude. Alright? Instantly blasts you. I don't even need to fish anymore. I just point the spotlight down at the water and I cook them. Like right there. I'm gonna sleep through the night. Wait, I need to wake up. Wake up, you need to fish squid. Get out. All right, chat, night fishing time. We actually have a spotlight now, which is nice. Get out my trusty telescope. We got arrow squid right there, but where's the real prize? We need the grouper. Eel's cool and all. But where's the grouper? I got eyes on something. We realize on something I've never seen before. Tomato, can you do a whole stream where you just talk in a funny voice? Isn't that every single one? Dude, that's, that's, that's just the stream. You should be asking, Tomato, can you do a stream where you just talk like a normal fucking person for five seconds and I'd laugh in your face and tell you it's not possible. That's gotta be the grouper. Black grouper, here we go. Catch a couple more of those while we're here. Okay, they're all gone. Oh, guess I'll go get some eels now. Now maybe I'll take a quick peek over here. We've never been over here before. What is this place? Let's do a quick pit stop. Trader, you enter a brightly lit shop. It's packed with antiques, the shelves full of jewelry and other baubles. An old man peers at you over silver spectacles. Hello, is that? No, I, I don't believe we've met. Forgive me, my eyes aren't what they used to be. I specialize in antiques and jewelry. I'll purchase any special trinkets you happen to have. Have you got anything nice with you today, perhaps? No. Fucking buy. All right, so there's nothing else here but that trader. Well, it's good to know he exists. Look at that lighthouse, chat. Eel? Oh, we do want some squid. Squid's what we need. Did you hear that? Did you guys hear that? Yo, that's... Skirt! You know, you can actually be a pirate in this game if you fucking run into another ship really hard. Let's just, let's just cut, get the eel and get out of here. Or the squid, I mean. Cause I'm not, guys, I'm not feeling so good. I don't feel like I, that guy, I thought there was a guy there. 
But now I'm not. I'm just. Stuff's been weird today. Things are just a little bit off, but the sun's coming up. We're gonna be fine. Just catch the last couple squid here and be done with it. Sun's coming up. Beautiful day. And not a moment too soon. Not a moment too soon. Hey, get away from me! Uh-uh. Fuck off! They just stole my arrow squid! Fucking birds! Ghost pirates, fucking birds in the sky. This place is a shithole, it's falling apart. Either way, this should pay off my debt. A hunched woman approaches you from the steps to the lighthouse. She stops some distance away and looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. Why are you here? Lady, I came to fish. There's nothing here for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favor and move on. She turns and shuffles back along the path that leads to the light. Well, I actually need to pay off my debt too, so we're gonna do that quick. One black grouper and two arrow squid, my good man. I didn't think you had it in you. Night fishing is a tall order. Yeah, I'm fine. My eyes shaking and darting around like I'm in imminent danger is absolutely fine. And I'm good. I'll let you know when I get more orders in. For now, on to business as usual. Don't overcommit yourself now. Especially when that sun starts going down. Good to come back with a small catch than to not come back at all. Okay, but like for real though, it's just fog out there. For real though, it's just fog out there. Right? Right? Guys, it's just some fog. <laughs> fog and some birds. Like I heard a foghorn that wasn't mine, even though I thought it should have been at one point. And I did see that one ship. I disappeared when I got close, but like that's just that's just the fog. We're fine. Sell it. The debt's done. The mayor's walking quickly towards you. He seems to be in a good mood with a spring in his step. Fantastic news, thanks partly to your efforts. Greater Marrow is growing. Our town is sure to be swarming with visitors any day now. In fact, I've granted a consent. For the shipwright to expand their facilities, the old dry dock is operational again. I've also allocated some money to improve the fishmonger services. He might have to talk to you about that soon. Keep up the good work. We're glad to have, we're, we're glad you've chosen to be here with us. Yes, I'll go check out the dry dock quick. This is the dry dock. We can make significant improvements to your vessel here. We're talking extra space, more attachment points for equipment, even superior hulls. We'll need a decent dock of hard materials for these projects. Lumbers, metal scraps, that sort of thing. Okay, got it. Materials assigned towards upgrading here will be stored, so don't worry if you only have half of what we need. Okay, so I can boost up net spaces, rod spaces, light space, engine space. Anytime we increase our hull, that's also how we increase our cargo space. We can also just research more. Okay. I got- the mayor wants to talk to me. Ah, just the person I was hoping to see. Will you be sailing out to the east towards Little Marrow? Would you give this package to the dock worker there, please? He holds out a... just kind of weird bag. Okay. The mayor hands you a small, damp package bound in string. It's dripping slightly. Oh, thanks. Okay. Thanks, mayor. Is it fish? The dock worker will pay you upon delivery. Please be quick about it. I don't want it to spoil. Wink. I sure hope it's fish. 
Don't forget to check your compass and map if you get lost. Okay. Hi. Chad, I think I need my character to sleep. He's losing his mind. Is what I would say if I was planning on doing that. But I'm just going to go across and get that done. Oh, I actually have a lot of money. I should buy something. Chat, it's not organs. Chat, it's not organs. The contents don't feel like anything at all. Just a wrapped up mess of shapes. Hang on. Mayor of Greater Marrow asked me to deliver a package to the dock worker in Little Marrow, which is in the east. Package feels quite dense and damp. Something is seeping through the paper. Curious, but I won't open it. You should, though. It's not organs, Chad. If it was organs, we'd, we'd know. We'd be able to smell it. I know the smell of organs. I work on a fuck. I work on a fishing vessel. I know what the smell of any nasty piece of meat is. Okay. Anyways, shipwright. It feels. Look, here's the thing. We can upgrade to weighted line, which will take care of the simple skimmer. Wait, is there any difference between these? No, it's just this has a better fishing speed. Okay. Huh, well, I do want this hydraulic rod, but I don't have enough money for that. But you know what I can get is something that makes me go a little bit faster. That's cool. Let's do that. Besides, it's dangerous out there. Being able to move a little bit faster might do us some good. Man, we are moving faster. That was a significant speed boost. I mean, yeah, it was almost 50% speed boost, so makes sense. Skirt! Let's get that delivery done here! Yeah! Then we'll get some fishing in before the sun sets. All right. Hmm, what a delivery. Let's see here. He tears a small hole in the paper and peeks inside. Can't say for sure, but it feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Mm. Yeah, nice and fresh. <laughs> This'll do nicely. I'm to pay you, I suppose? Hands you some money. Mm. I was given this old book a few weeks back, but it didn't make much sense to me. You'll surely get more use out of it. He pulls a crumpled book from his back pocket and hands it to you. A number of pages are folded over. Keep it in your cabin. Perhaps you can read it while you're on the water. Stop by for a chat any time. I know how lonely it can be. What is this evil tome you've given to me? Sustainable fishing. Okay, well, that's cool, actually. Thanks. So all I gotta do is just wait for more orders. So I guess I'm gonna get some fishing done. Well, chat, looks like we're unbound by any laws or rules or expectations. All we're bound by now is our own personal drive to fish. And fishing, uh, fishing I will. Because I want some more gulf flounders. Yep. Maybe another. Maybe another. Maybe catch one more. All right, I'm gonna catch another. All right. All the flounders are gone or dead. Wow, look at this place. It's really beautiful before the fog sets in. You know what I mean? Sure is something. So I was just finishing my drink. The silence wasn't so everyone could take in the view. It was so I could finish sw taking a gigantic swig of my drink. I'm finishing my soda. A bottle, 20th of August, 1927. We had a slight incident yesterday around the shallows at the back of Greater Marrow. Oh, wait a minute. No, that's the, f that's the last one. Morning of the second day of the honeymoon and our first day proper. Today we're sailing around the islands and inlets at the back of Greater Marrow. I love the rocks here. The layers and colors are so striking. 
Furthermore, the fishing is relatively poor in these shallows, so I know he'll keep his hands on the wheel instead of the rods. He renamed the boat last night, Julie. He had a fancy renaming ceremony and everything. I think he took that more seriously than the wedding. Supposedly, it's very important to perform it correctly, lest you want ill fortune to follow the vessel. He wanted to throw away any, everything with the old name on it, but I kept the keychain. Ocean's Riches was a good name. I think he has prepared a surprise picnic lunch. I can see the ba basket half hidden under, half hidden stuffed under a blanket in the front of the cabin. I love it when he tries to be romantic. Why did you keep the keychain, Nancy? Nancy, you fool! You kept the keychain! Oh, a thousand years of bad luck to that vessel. No, they're dead. They're fucking dead as hell. Just another, just another pile of wood to be dredged up. Pathetic. Just another nasty pile of wood. Dude. Dude, I suck at inventory management. I fucking hate this game, dude. It's because they're all squares. I don't have space for squares. I need weird shapes. I need stuff in the shape of noodles. There we go. Now that's a noodle. Yep. Is there a fail state for these fish? Like, I feel like I've, I, there's no way I can actually fail to catch one. There's gotta be. Hang on, I just want to see here. If it gets... What happens if I just don't do it? I still catch it. I'm guessing, or like, later zones, they're going to fight back. This is tutorial area, so... It wastes your time. <gasps> oh, you're right. Time's always passing. You're right, that is true. A floating buoy. It serves to mark safe passage past dangerous rocks and obscured hazards. Its dim light also provides a deep, a brief respite from the gloom of the night. Yeah, I'm cool. I'm cool. Let's go drop this stuff off. We're gonna be fine. It's pronounced boy, Tamto. Just because the fucking sailors that didn't know how the English language works pronounced it boy incorrectly doesn't mean I have to fucking do that. All right, doesn't mean I have to fucking do that. Fake sailor. That's like when I'm like, oh, the, there's something to the left when I play with my friends and like, Sea of Thieves and like, you mean starboard? And I'm like, no, I mean fucking left. I mean left. You mean port side. I, no one cares, chat. Shut the fuck up. Can't you see that arc fucking drop back there? We have a level 40 drop behind this mountain here. We should go pick that up. We need to go get that. That's really important. Been meaning to talk to you about a new business venture I've been considering. Crabs. Huh? I've got one here for you, in fact. It's a bit banged up. You could get it fixed at the shipwright. A crab pot? No way. Should be pretty straightforward to drop it out at sea anywhere to come back after a day or two to check up on it. I've got customer after a fiddler crab and a common crab. Both species can be found around here. I don't know how you do it every day. These old bones couldn't make it on the high seas. I mean, I'm not gonna buy another one of these fucking things from you. So get the fuck out of my face. I'm gonna sell all the other crap. Loads of money. Oodles of money. Looks like some of your equipment could use some fixing. We can repair that here. Okay. Repair all of it. Fixed up? Good. You know what? Actually, Fishmonger, I found this book out back. Could be useful for you. Oh, I was actually just going to apologize and buy a fish, a crab pot. He hands it to me. A few shimmering scales are stuck to the cover. Okay, man. I'd like another crab pot. You know what? This is future-proofing. I'm gonna get all three. 
I have the money right now and I have nothing else to buy, I'm going to get all three. And I'm going to have fucking a ton of crabs later. Ah, we are going to pop off on crabs, Jet. I'm going to put them right here by these dangerous rocks where I know crabs love to be. Plenty of crabs here, chat. Just plenty of crabs all along these rocks. We will collect crabs. Huh? What the? All right, last crab pot goes right there. Let's get out of here. Turn the lights back on. We're gonna, we're gonna take the rest of the night easy. I think. I think we go, we take the rest of the night easy. Maybe we swing on back to town. Maybe take a nap. Two hundred dollars for the lights already broken. It just flickered. I'm gonna sleep. No point staying up all night. Hey. Maybe, chat, maybe we take a look around. You know, there's a lot of crabs. That's true, but, like, there is that... There is that thing in the distance. No, I need to look up how I dredge. You know what I mean? Because I've got those... i got those fucking wood things. I really gotta buy the dredging tool. We need to learn how to dredge. Let me swing by the ship right. I want to see... If you're waiting to get a bit more out of your engines, take a look through this book on the house. STOP GIVING ME BOOKS! I yell at her face. She doesn't understand why I yelled. In the background, I have five books in my bag and I, I don't even like reading. Everyone needs to stop! Give me how- give- tell me how to dredge. Well, there's storage, so I guess it's- I don't want to sell these once I have $400. What I want to do is I want to stow them in the storage in this town. I don't know, chat, I don't know if storage is uh, town-based or like world, like global. So I'm thinking I'm just going to keep this place because it's in the middle and everything. I'm guessing this is like the best place to have a sto like a, like an actual storage stockpile. Some more flounders. We love flounder. We're just going to try to make some money. These flounders sell for a lot. Oh, we should check out my crabs. I mean, they there's not gonna be any because it's only been like six hours, but let's check on the crab. Damn, man. Dude, a coastal, shallow, oceanic, abyssal. What the fuck is Dude, I just don't even want to know. I shouldn't see subspecies that say aberration underneath things. You fucking mean. What do you fucking, what in the hell are you talking about aberrations of fish? Part of me likes seeing this stuff early. Part of me also wishes that encyclopedias, this happened with cat goes fishing. And it's that these games show you what you're going to catch in the future. And it's like, yeah, it's also telling me every 10 seconds to open the spoiler book. You know what I mean? And like, that's why I just closed out of it right there. I, it's going to tell me with an exclamation mark every 10 seconds that I should go over there to look at the new thing. And then next to it is always going to be a spoiler. I don't want to be spoiled. I don't want to know what I can fish up. But I do want some blue mackerel. can't dredge. Oh, we should get cod. It's just we have to go into the deep waters. The deep waters. It's fine, Chad. It's a beautiful day. Let's fish up some cod. Yup. 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 About as much as we're gonna get. You know, I should check out this, uh... This little spot right here. I'm already over here. Oh, we finished uh, the reading. 10% chance not to reduce fish stocks when catching a fish. Is that just permanent? A hefty tome in Laborious Read. It goes into great detail about techniques that can be employed to reduce the impacts of fishing upon fish stocks. I guess it's just a permanent perk. I 
I'm gonna park at this haunted island really quick. Ain't no way I'm sleeping here, dude. Shut the fuck up. I go up to the ruined mansion. The door is locked. Oh. Go up to the workshop. The workshop looks like it hasn't been used in decades. Go inside. Oh, it's locked. Well, you could just said the door was locked at the very beginning. Why, why would it not? It, uh, why is it different between these two? It doesn't say door inside here. It just says door is locked. Why would it do? Why would it lead me to believe I can go into the workshop if it's also locked? <laughs> do the same thing. I'm mad. All right, we're leaving. It's 5.30 p.m. We need to get back home. Before the sun sets. Any more than it already is. Let's just... Get back. Oh! My card! And the... Oh! 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 Oh, how's the crabs? Do we have crabs? Yo, we got crabs, baby. Dude, now that right there, what we have right there? Crab. Hell yeah. Oh, too big. Uh, leave it there. We can't get the fiddler yet. It's too big. We need to sell our crab first. But that's a big boy crab, dude. That's huge. Huge crab. You any crabs? Yep. Don't forget, if your crab pots get a, get a bit worn out, you can get them repaired. Yeah, I know how to fucking play the game. Sell all sort of crap. I need to go to the shipwright and have her repair my stuff. Thirty dollars? It was just a little dink. <laughs> I only dinked it. It's not like it was like a real impact. It was just a dink. What do you fucking mean I have to spend thirty American dollars? Repairing this shit. It was just a dink. All right, well. That's good. What the hell? Eels? We're gonna catch some eels. We might as well fill up our- We might as well load up. Nasty eel. Horrid creature. Extinct. Another fiddler. Get dead in there. Anything else? Place is kind of a ghost town tonight. We got some groupers over here. I'm gonna get them. <clears throat> Why is there an eye? That's my paranoia. It's me losing my mind in the in the waters, the fog. Feel like there's a better way I could do this, but it's a little too late. I've got too much mess. I wasn't exactly planning on doing a long fishing trip. That was something I decided after I was already out here. So we're just going to shrug and grab what we can and go back. I still don't know what's up with that. The laser. I should probably do that at some point. But I want to go out there during the day. Because I don't think I could survive going out there at night. Uh, let's go ahead and give this other stuff to the fishmonger. $59. Alright. That'll do. Glad you got some use out of that old pot. You can always buy more here or repair the damaged ones at the shipyard. There's something else I want to... Hmm. No, forget it. Okay. You old fuck. Why would you, like, even... You're, he's hiding something from me, chat. He's hiding something. That guy, that old bastard's up to something. Either way, I need to save up for the hydraulic rod. Seems like that's the plan. I'm gonna get some sleep. Maybe we... Maybe we make our way across. Try to see what that commotion is with the laser. If we go during the day, we won't get any stress. Yeah, let's let's swing around. It 
Looks like there's like a wreck in there. Is that what it was looking? Well, that's that's totally fenced in. I can't get to that if I wanted to. If that's what it is. Not really much we can do about that. That's locked in by rocks. Get some eels while I'm out. Eel. Eel. Whoa, what the heck? Ew! Throw that shit back! A spine broken with sharp angles and crooked curves. A row of teeth bent on revenge. All right, man. Picks up, puts an eel bag to sell. All right, that's nice. That's cool. Yeah. Anyways. Ooh, when I pick that one up, it makes a horrible sound. Hey, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Why is that so big? Hey, what's up with this place? I think I can see a shark over there. But I'm not very invested in that. Like, I just don't really want to get eaten. Dude, that's a super eel. Do you see the size of that one? There's like a huge one in here. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm gonna hunt him to extinction. I don't care. So what the hell is this? I can see a shark. So that's a dredge. You're mine! What am I kidding? I don't have oceanic stuff. I gotta get home. We're gonna... It's gonna be the middle of the night when we get back! How the fuck do I even close- like, get over here? Pile of loose debris. Clearing this would take some strong explosives. I don't have that kind of hardware. I should show the fishmonger this freaky fish I found. He's gonna love it. Yeah, let's go take this to the fishmonger, guys. Come on. Do I still have any inventory space? I have enough inventory space to catch like one cod. The 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 speed upgrade for the boat was one of the best decisions I ever made. I'm telling you, man, that changed the whole game. I'd be dead out there. Otherwise, I'd be dead out there. Let's just get home. Is this game very scary or just creepy? Uh, I've only played like an hour, so I can't really speak for those kinds of things. Dude, it's just a cute little game. What is it today? You hand the grotesque fish to the fishmonger. He grins, raising the fish up to his face before inhaling a deep, stuttering breath. Ah. Uh. Now, this is the sort of specimen to laven up my day. Hmm, I wonder. He runs his finger firmly along the length of the fish, as though feeling for something. He pushes from one side of its stomach. A small shape can be seen against the bulging scales. He slices the fish open. You killed Eel-chan! I, we, that was, I wasn't giving you them to you so you could hurt them! I just wanted you to look at them! That was, I was gonna keep that one! I should have known from his picture that he's not good with fish. Damn it. From its stomach, he pulls a small piece of fabric and spreads it on the counter. It's a delicately patterned handkerchief. Well, I've never seen that before in all my days. I'll give you this thing, and I'll pay you for the fish too, of course. It's not the first corrupted fish I've seen in these parts. So I'm sure you'll do you'll find more before long. I'll pay you well if you find any more. Dude, I'm going to tell you one thing right now. You cannot ever explain to me that like any creature corrupted is a normal thing anywhere without me just leaving. Like if if a mo if like a fucking thing stumbles out of the tree line and dies in front of me and then someone's like, "Yep, that's a corrupted creature." Like, and then they're like, and we get those from time to time.
Uh uh. Uh uh. Goodbye. Yep, that thing's fucking absolutely loaded up with microplastics. You have no idea. <laughs> that thing that thing is absolutely just just completely loaded with those little guys. Okay, well, uh, I'm gonna sell all my fish. We have enough for the hydraulic super rock. A man is looking at you through your cabin window. His face mostly in shadow. I know what you picked to say the fish finger. And I'll be clear. I know he extracted it from the Dude, I don't you need to come out you just I have a door. Uh oh, 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 he extracted it from an artifact. I need to let me see it. Maybe I'm left on oh, head out of the way and suck back. I have a big possibility I gotta hold up here. What? What? Anyways, slash me throws away nasty half eaten handkerchief. <laughs> Tosses it into water, calls it a day. Weird. Weird guy. Where do you want me to go? Wait, that's the cursed aisle. We can do that at night. We can sleep when we get there. Time's a wasting, Jack. Correct engine operation. Engines provide 5% more bonus speed than listed. And now we're even faster. Yeah! Yeah, boat! Yeah! And now safely check for boats. That one just copied mine completely. I'm uh not gonna worry about it. Let's just the man is standing in a doorway watching you approach. He's holding an old book in one hand. It's bound in crimson and with silver ribbons. You can good allow me to introduce myself. Oh, he just talks like that. I am a collector of many things. Often artifacts, treasures, and materials that occupy the periphery of your desire. And you have something for me. Oh. I, I, I guess I just had to be able to see his face. You give the handkerchief to the collector. He holds it up to the flickering light and studies it. Hmm. These patterns are... Unmistakable, even after all this time. This handkerchief comes from an old ship I've been searching for. It sank many years ago. It carried items of great importance. As you can imagine, retrieving them is proving to be challenging. That's where you come in. My proposition is this. I will outfit your vessel with equipment that will let you dredge the wrecks in dark depths. Find me these lost relics, and I will reward you in ways beyond all imagining. You need not give up your fishing career. I'll merely need a few hours with your vessel to make the necessary alterations. What do you say? Sure. An excellent decision. I'll prepare the equipment immediately. But yeah, but can you just pay me in money? What? Can you just pay me in money? I don't want... Like, you, you, well, you basically, you basically established a system where you may just offer me garbage that I don't know, like, how to actually use in this, like, economy. Can you just pay me, pay me money for this? Because, like, if he's going to, like, dump, like, fucking cryptocurrency on me and be like, this is beyond your imagination. This is going to have so much value. This is going to grow. It's going to, your money is going to grow. He's going to fucking put, like, an NFT in front of me and be like, and think about how much value. The, you're the only one who owns one of these. Then I'm going to punch him in the face. Dredge cane added. All right, we got the dredge crane. The relics we're looking for are a ring, a necklace, a watch, and a music box and key. I would encourage you to ask around the towns about shipwrecks or other strange occurrences, anything that might be worth investigating. 
Return when you have something. Okay. Slash me sleeps till morning. Slash me wakes up just 10 minutes before his alarm. Considers sleeping for another 10 minutes, but then, th then just knows better and gets moving. Looks like we're dredgers now. We dredge. What the fuck is that nasty shit? All right, we're dredging that. I see something I need to dredge. It's time, everyone. There's, an, there's what looks to be yeah, an Easter Island head in the water here. We're gonna dredge it. Activate dredge mode. Press F to change lanes to, oh my God, okay. Uh, it was just a bolt of cloth. Well, that's useless. I dredge some more. Ow! Ow! Oh! Oh! More cloth. Put him over here. Dude, he's, he's fucking dredging! What's this? There's like some weird spirits coming out of these fish. I'm gonna hunt and kill him. Oh, throw it back. <laughs> Get that shit back in the water. Yuck. Cyclopean flounder. Dude, that's not... What? <laughs> peeper shit. <laughs> that's not a peeper, dude. There's something wrong with that one. That one ain't right. It just ain't right. Nasty. What's this then? Lots of stuff to dredge. Dude, like actually genuinely oodles of stuff to dredge right now. We got a lot of dredging to do. Metal scraps. Good news is we need these to uh, upgrade our boat. So this is good. I can't fit another. Unless I move these. Yeah, we can get one more. We do need to upgrade our boat eventually. All right. This place has been dredged. Now we can, oh, Jesus Christ. This has gotta be one of the items. Bronze belt buckle, well that's useless. What good were you then, crashed ship? Goodbye, hang on. <laughs> hang on, maybe it just leaked out of the back and landed a little bit early. Old iron chain, garbage. Guys, how long was I fishing? What the hell is that? Nah, like, what is that? I'm gonna honk at it. I'm gonna get near it. I'm just gonna go a little closer, no. Uh-oh! 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 We're getting out of here! What the hell? That rock wasn't there before! We're parking at Little Minnow, or Little, Little whatever the fuck this place is. We're sleeping here tonight. Little Marrow. Hey man, is everything okay? <laughs> I got attacked by fog. 
I gotta attack my fucking funk. You think I'm okay? Slaps him in the face. <laughs> fucking. Uh, I almost got it. I almost died. Do you know of any shipwrecks around here, man? Well, yes, you see. My only son was lost at sea some years ago. Dude. He's still out there somewhere in one of those wrecks, all alone in the cold, dark water. Yeah, he he definitely has been holding his breath this long, dude. Oh wait, he means his dead body. Okay, yeah, that adds up more. I just, I dude, I got, I have, a, I had a whole night tonight. This is not the time to be doing this. The man is clearly trying his hardest to remain composed, but tremors of grief wreck his body. I was wondering. I noticed you have some dredging equipment installed on your vessel if you're able to retrieve any of his belongings from the wreck. I think I'd feel more at peace if his mementos were with me. He wore a bronze belt buckle specifically engraved. I'd recognize it anywhere. There's a chance you could find it. I'd be in your debt. Dude, this guy's lucky I didn't go straight to the fucking merchant because I was going to just sell this shit. I dredged- I literally dredged his son. Dude! This is convenient as hell. I just got back from fucking looting your son's vessel. <laughs> See, now this is dark because it's like he was asking me to go collect something important to him. If I immediately like, oh yeah, I, get, I have that. Then he's going to know that I didn't do it out of like kindness because he asked, but because I was going to sell that shit hard. Like the dynamic changes. So really, I have to leave, do a lap, then come back with it. And then it, I won't come off as like a sicko. Hey, I already have it. You give the belt buckle to the man. This is, this is his. Oh, thank you. Bless you. You've returned him to me. Please take this. I have not any money to pay you, but this might hold some value. It does. Thanks. Anything else I can help you with? Do you know about any strange occurrences out here? I don't get out a lot anymore, so I don't see much of what goes on, but I do remember the old mayor in his final days. What an awful sight that was. Screaming and throwing things into the sea. Throw it back! He would cry over and over, begging anyone who would listen, howling into the wind. These days, I almost feel like I understand. Anything else I can help you with? I, I, we bet, I better go. I have nothing I can actually sell to this guy. Wait, I do. What am I about to- Oh, the old iron chain. Okay. I didn't want to sell, like, any of my actual, like, resources. Well, that means that now I can research... Can't research that. Don't have the stuff for it. Engines. Hardy crab pot. What if we just get really involved in crabbing? You know what I mean, chat? Like, fishing's cool and all, but what if we just get really involved in crabbing? Let the sea work for us. Let the sea work for us. Is what I would say if that didn't sound like the most boring fucking thing I could do in this game, all about fishing and like actually risking it out there in the seas. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a fl we're gonna get the uh, yeah the flexible fishing pole, or maybe an engine first. I kind of want to upgrade my engines first. Yeah, because that's only one. Wait, I need to sleep. I'm not going out there. What are you crazy? Dude, my guy's losing it. Sleep. All right, I'm cool, I'm cool. Wake up. 10 minutes before the usual 10 minutes you wake up before your alarm. 20 whole minutes. Let's ride. Now, before I get all the way back to base, I'd like to pick up all my crabs. Actually, I've got way too much shit in my inventory to be picking up the crabs. Is there anything to dredge though? We do have dredge to- we have wood to dredge. I'm gonna dredge up the wood. Four hours of sleep, Sag. I sleep while I drive. You see. That's just the thing I do. Oh! Okay, this is bullshit. 
Dude, let me move the lights. <laughs> We're gonna ditch one of the pieces of cloth because I know I need the wood for like work. Greed? It's not greed. Okay, besides, I just read another book. Now, I reel in fish 10% faster. I was like literally checking if I could still fit another fish. I need more cargo space. Nothing else matters in this game. What is this? Oh, that's cod. Must love Cyclops. We're gonna sell this shit, dude. I'm not keeping this because I think it's like interesting. We're getting rid of it. Peeper is going away for good, forever. I have one final request for you, as you've seen some fish around here can develop odd deformities. What do you think happens to a person that eats the flesh of one of these mutants? Nothing. <laughs> well, perhaps, but I want to know for sure. Oh, so you really don't know. Okay, I thought I was like being funny. I don't know, probably. <laughs> but like, wouldn't it be epic if it, if it was something crazy? Bring me a mutant fish and it will do, but keep this between the two of us. Wait, are you saying you want to try eating this fish as a joke? Like, are you trying, are you, like, are you going to eat this fish to check? As a bit? Like, you're going to eat this, you, okay, okay, I got this. I got this cyclopean flounder. The fishmonger takes the aberrated fish from you. He clutches it close to his, she his chest, wringing his hands around its slimy body. I'm starting to think this fishmonger likes fish a little too much. <laughs> yeah, you should do nicely. Here's what the fish is worth. And why don't you take these two? They're of no use to me. Okay. Hmm, you hear that? It sounds like the faintest whispering. You listen. Silence. In the stillness of the room, the fishmonger's hands begin to tremble. His face grows anguished. Please. Sell me what you sell what you need, then leave. I need to deal with this creature quickly now. Uh okay. Um goodbye. The fishmonger door slams behind you. You hear the heavy scraping of a metal bar sliding across it. Fishmonger! Okay. I'd like to drop off some materials. So what do I want the most? Uh, definitely, uh, definitely gonna be, uh, rod space. So we're gonna start putting in the stuff for that, yeah. Gonna need a lot of space for rods. Okay. So that's allocated, which means I can put more, like, all the extra metals I have into other upgrades. That's awesome. That's a, that's a good method for this. I like that a lot. That I don't have to, like, stow it away. I can already, like... I can already put it into what I want to use for it. Okay. What is it? Hey, the the fishmonger's eating the weird fish I bought. I didn't think he'd actually do it. Help! Help! He he's doing it. Do you know how many shipwrecks around here? She asks you suspiciously. Mm. There's a spot near the back of Greater Marrow where the current carries in wreckage from the sea. Some nights you can see an unnatural glow rising from that patch of dark water. I can't imagine what's down there in the deep. So if you if that's what you're looking for, best you just move on. Who lives on Blackstone mm -hmm. Isle? I see a lot from up here, you know. I saw that ill-fated boat return. I chose to look the other way. 
I watched an unnatural glow flicker through those windows. Whatever you got planned, I hope you know what you're doing out there. So is every line at the- is every single time you finish saying something, you're gonna say you better watch your ass out there, kid? Is that the end of every single dialogue line for you, Grandma? Have you ever heard- have you heard of any strange things happening? I see plenty of strange things from atop the lighthouse. Sometimes I don't know whether I can trust my own eyes. She holds the lantern up so that it shines brightly onto your mm -hmm. face. Are you really standing in front of me or is it just another one of the fog's tricks? Oh no, she's just crazy. What happened to the old mayor? That's, he's, I try not to think about him. It's a painful memory for us all. Some nights I still think I can hear the hump of his engine sailing past the bay, but I know he's gone and I don't want to talk about it anymore. You better watch your ass out there, kid, all right? Oh, I I should get out of here, Grandma. You approach a woman sitting on the dock side, staring out to sea. She turns to you. What's it like out there? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Thousand yard stare, watched an old fishmonger eat a one eyed gigantic cyclopean flounder that I fished up for him and then he sealed himself in his own tomb. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I just want to fish. It's got to be a damn sight better than this bloody town. I think I just need to get away for a while. Maybe not come back. Going backwards is a mistake, don't you think? You just keep moving forwards, moving along. I don't want to move along. I can't go back. It's not so bad. I don't want to move along. She's gazing out to sea again, lost in thought. Say, if you find me some materials, maybe you can help me move. I mean, really move. There's an island I've heard about, Steel Point, just to the north. Two units of lumber and two units of scrap is all I need, and I can make a new place for myself out there. You'd be welcome to visit, too. Just stack it up at Steel Point when you have any. I'll pay you when the job's done. Okay. I don't move on. I want to stay stagnant. Forever. You all know me, the most stagnant fisherman alive. Yep. I will never be. Hang on. Mangrove coastal volcanic shallow. Well, I don't. I haven't gone to a volcano, so I don't know why I'd want that. Maybe we, uh. No nets yet. It feels like future proofing to up to get like the tier two engine because otherwise I'd be getting two of these improved outboard engines. It feels like getting two research parts straight into getting like the super engine here really early since I have everything to do it. And then just having that be our engine setup forever is a good idea. I think we do that. Cause then I can buy that. How much does uh, one of those cost though? Only three undy. Yeah, let's get rid of these. It's gonna total out to a little bit faster than my default engine. Oh, I guess I could sell them. That's probably a smarter way. Damn it, I fucked up. You can't sell them unless you reinstall them. Oh wait, no, this is the free one. That's why. I'm dumb. You just can't sell this one because it's free. All right, get that one out of here. We're gonna buy the refined engine. There. All right, we've got engines pretty much good probably for a long time now. Chat, tonight we go out to the laser in the sky. I don't care if we die, we're fast now. I mean, we're the same speed pretty much, but we have more space. Oh, look at that speed. We actually are a little bit faster. Crabs, oh, I should check the crabs. They're gonna exp I think they're expired once I pull them out. I'm gonna have to repair all the pots. Huge fiddler haul, dude. Absolutely gigantic haul of these fiddlers. This thing needs to be repaired, so we're gonna pick it up. Nice. Don't! Ah! Fucking rock. Fuck, that's $30, dude. 30 whole dollars. 
$30,000 gone in an instant. Well, this did math out to, uh... To a pretty decent situation here. All time to do this, and I can go out and get that laser in the sky. Crabbing ain't easy. It's actually the most dangerous job you can do. A lot of people don't tell you that. Fishmonger? Wait, what? <laughs> Fishmonger, I have fish to sell! The crabs will go bad! Fishmonger! Dude, they're not gonna be open 24 7. My ass grabs brick, smashes window, starts trying to reach for the door, sees a hunched over half fish man snacking on a giant eye in the corner. Oh, I, I get away from the door. I, I run back to my ship. And I guess I put these fish into storage. <laughs> People will buy slightly old fish. That's fine. It's fine. He's <laughs> monging his fish. <laughs> Mother of God! Oh! Crab doesn't go bad. I sure hope so. Well, these crab pots are all good to go. We're gonna load them up. Load them up. All right, says plenty of crab right here, so we're gonna toss one out there. Plenty, toss it. Plenty, toss it. And that's all. We're going to the laser, which apparently isn't where I thought it was. Whoa. That's your, that's, a, I'm, a, no fuck, ain't no way. Oh, 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 oh. Ah! The rocks! Skirt! I'm bringing it right to town! <laughs> that was the fucking boat. Hey, I need another repair. My boat got all banged up and shit. You know what, maybe we just chalk this up to a loss and we wait till tomorrow. Fishmonger? Okay. We're gonna sleep until it's nighttime and then we're gonna deal with the laser in the sky and this time it's gonna go, he's still in there. He's still in there. Monging. Mother of God. He's a freak. He's a disgusting freak. Grouper. Grouper. We love to see him. With normal eyes. Okay, so this time we avoid any boats we see in the distance at night. That's absolutely it, and it totally outed itself. I'm gonna guess it can't see me. As long as I stay on the other side of this rock. Oh. Alright, let's just get this and get the fuck out of here. Oh no, the fucking fog too! Just get what we need! What the hell is this? We're going home! We're going home. This place is bad. This place ain't good for us, child. We need to get back home now. Wait, that guy wanted us to drop it off there, though. We need to go here. The light. The fucking light. Get the fuck on! 
Everything's cool. See, we made it. Well, you have something, don't you? Show me. Yeah, here. You hand him the key. The cold metal shimmers a strange shine as he holds it. The key, the shape of the key, the teeth, the head, now somehow seem changed, smaller. Has it always been this way? Is this all? Where's the lock? Collector grows agitated. It seems the pieces we're looking for have traveled further than I anticipated. Much further, I suspect. In that case, allow me to aid your travels. He turns a few pages of his book and mutters something low under his breath. A burst of light fills your vision and you stagger back briefly. Yeah! Now go, we have more relics to uncover. Otherworldly speed at a price. My intuition tells me that the current may have carried some debris to the southeast towards Gale Cliffs. Make that your priority. Are you some kind of a warlock? I'll mark a location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? The words you read from that book, what did they do to me? The book holds power from the deep. I merely extended its powers towards you. Is there one in particular you wish to know more about? Haste. The word of haste. The words of haste are instant and cruel. They will impart a terrible speed to your vessel. Be warned, however, it may put a great deal of stress on your engines. Are there other powers you wish to know more about? No. Anything else? Uh, I don't want to... How, how long have you lived here? Quite some time. I used to be a fisherman, as was my father before me, but two decades ago, I took up residence here. I needed to focus on other endeavors. I found that this island has a certain strength to it. Those dark basalt columns stretching downwards into the deep. Anything else? Who owned these relics? Yes. Who? He looks at you. For a moment, a look of something like regret flashes in his eyes. An old friend. Anything else? Where should I look for these? My intuition tells me the current... Okay, southeast to the Gale place. That's it. Where are you going? Yep, Gale Cliffs. I'm sleeping here. My guy had a rough night. Haste adds speed to your engines, but increases panic and engine heat. Select it with E and use it by holding right click. Skirt! During the day, that's awesome. Ow. During the day where you don't have to worry about panic, that's just good. That's huge. Green. I mean, we just need, what we need is uh, to get some level ups, like get some gear leveled. So I think we are, we are fishing today. We are, we are dredging. We're gonna dredge. If the, is the fishmonger still in there monging? Hang on, I'm not even gonna pick this shit up if he's still in there monging. What's the point of all this fishing? If this dude's gonna be in there fucking monging forever. I knew he shouldn't eat that nasty. Lighthouse keeper emerges from the dark forest that flanks the town. She walks towards the dock with a confused look on her face. Oh, it's you. Excuse me? Your engine, it sounds like. I'm sorry. I mistook it for the vessel of an old friend. Dejected, she turns to walk back towards the lighthouse. Fishmonger? Uh, blind and headache today. Did you come by yesterday? I don't recall. Anyway, what can I do for you? He's okay? I wouldn't say he's okay. You guys said the crabs would keep! They ripped each other to shreds and then rotted away. You lied, dude. Why would you lie? You could have just said it. We're going to go bad. 
You could have just told me. Will you buy this? No. Fuck, man! I'm so mad at you guys. I'm so mad at you specifically. Like, nothing will ever... I will never forgive any of you for this. All of you specifically have really pissed me off today. You've got an enemy. You've got an enemy for life. You've got a nemesis. Oh, I guess I shouldn't have picked it up yet. Eh, whatever. We'll just pick them all up and have them repaired. Because I'm going to take them... I'm going to take them elsewhere. We're going to move them. I want to see if there's anything else I can catch if I go to a different area. Besides, we're going across to the Gale Cliffs. I reckon. Oh! Why did I fish this? <laughs> Why did I do this to myself? Okay. Time to sell some crap. Oodles of money. Uh. Alright, get it all repaired. I kind of want to go check out the place. That. Also, I want to figure out where that north place is that that girl wants all that supplies dropped off to. Maybe we do that first. Yeah. Let's go look for some stuff to dredge. Oh, there's some stuff right there. Dude, I'm re I'm gonna get so good at the haste thing, dude. I'm gonna be like the best at it ever. I'm definitely not gonna explode. I'm definitely not gonna explode. There's no way. Uh, okay. Crab pot. We'll drop one right here. We'll drop him along this line of the buoys. Wait, no, that said few! Oh. Pick it back up. Now, please. I only want to collect crabs from places where it says there will be a truly plenty of crabs. I am not an idiot. Is it darker than usual? Hey, is this place more cursed than normal? Is Why would this lady want to live here? Oh, I can sleep here. Good. Well, here's the two metal materials. Now I just need to find some wood for her. Maybe I can just get that taken care of right now. Let's get our lights on first. I'm not an idiot. Some cloth to dredge. There's some wood. All right, let's go dredge up that wood and we can get this done. We'll just spend some time tonight dredging. Though I feel like I should warn this girl that I've never been to a more haunted island in all my days. Truly, I've never seen such a haunted place. The amount of evil demons I can sense coming from these waters. Why, it's insane. I love looting shipwrecks, dude, for goblets. I just... <laughs> I'm parking! I'm parked! And I'm going to sleep. I'm cool, guys. Everything's cool. It's all cool, guys. Everything is fine. You delivered all the necessary materials. You should let the builder know. Yeah, I guess I fucking should do that. I should also let her know I almost got eaten by a boat. That's also a fish. What the fuck? This is a trophy. 
An unknown green energy arcs and crackles over the fish's scales. It thrashes ceaselessly even hours after being pulled out of the water. Fucking weird ass Pokemon. Hits it once. Hits it once to make it stop. Nasty creature. Terrible. Chat, it's evil. Chad, it's evil, and the last one turned the fish the fishmonger into an actual fish man. We just haven't I just don't have the proof to like prove it yet, but I know it to be true. We all know that fishmonger is gonna turn into a fish, and then everyone's gonna be like, how could this happen? And then I'll be like, it's because he ate a fish that had one eye, like a creature. And everyone will be like, that's not possible, you're an idiot. But we all know it's true. Lots of fish to be found in these waters, totally untapped. An untapped market of cod. Dude, there's a lot of cod in these waters. What the heck? Finally got the trophy cod. Let's bring this all back and let that lady know that we finished the job. Will you still sell to him? Oh yeah. I don't fucking care. Money's money, you know what I mean? Money's money. Of course I'm gonna sell to him. I'm honestly insulted you would even- hang on, maybe I should get that- no, I don't have the inventory. I gotta get that wood when I'm done with this. Don't you fucking- oh, better not be the trophy. Oh. My. God. My trophy cod! My trophy cod! That was a record-breaking cod! Now I have to fish up these nasty fucking mackerels. Learn to drive Bozo. It's not easy! Hey, shipwright. Don't ask why my ship is damaged, okay? Just don't ask. Wow, that sells for a hundred. That's like actually all of the value of this place. Okay, yeah, uh, sell it. Sell all fish. $226. So the builder were done. You've done it? Well, no sense in wasting time. Let's get moving. Wait, what? I'm not taking you there. All right, lady, picks up lady, navigates them to the fucking cargo hold, flips them upside down and slightly to the left, and then jams them between the engine and fishing supplies. You stay there! Good riddance to you, Greater Marrow. I'm, I'm onward bound. Yeah, you're gonna be fine. We're definitely going straight there. Slash me goes fishing beforehand, L like just fucking dumps like tons of fish onto her. You're gonna be fine now. If we crashed, you might fall out. I've been having a problem with that lately. Now be careful, cause it's wild. It's wild out here. I actually want to do this. <laughs> it's so dumb. Anyways, I discard them. <laughs> Get out. Get the fuck out. Sends lady to the storage. <laughs> you wait here. Shoves her in box with dead, rotted crap. You wait right there. You're going to be fine. Onward. You know what I mean? Onward. All right. So what I need to do right now is I need to level up. I want to get the hydraulic rod, which means I need to uninstall. We have, we're going to have oceanic. I think I'm gonna get rid of the basic skimmer for now. So I'm gonna uninstall it and put that in storage. I'm gonna move that, the basic fishing pole here because that gets me coastal. And then we're gonna get oceanic and plug that in. That's so mean. She's been in there for hours. Picks up, moves to cargo. 
You're trying to stand comfortably in the middle? Yeah, right. Picks up, flips 180 degrees, sits on head. Just sits right down there. There you go. You hit, you put your head, balance it right on the engine. That's good. That's good. All right. Let's roll. At night. Yo! Don't worry, lady. I've done this trip one time, and I lived that time. Hang on, I got a dredge. You don't mind if I dredge? Oh, I don't have the right stuff to dredge that. Oh. Don't worry, lady. We're gonna be there so fast. Me having a mental break from driving using the haste while I do it. Totally fine. We're gonna be fine. What was that sound? Oh, it don't matter. Y'all mind holding on to this crab for me? <laughs> opens, opens hatch to cargo hold. Throws crab at her. Throws live crabs. <laughs> Hold on to these for me. Keep them fresh. Hold this. Almost parks. Doesn't. Goes to fish before dropping her off at destination. Doesn't have the thing to fish at shallows. Gives up. Oh. Maybe we, uh, maybe we drop her off after all. Yeah, maybe we, maybe we drop her off. Oh, we're gonna drop her off, guys. It's okay. We, we gonna drop her off. Yes, yes, this'll do. Thank you, fella. Yeah, no problem. Give me a short while to get things built here. You're welcome back anytime. She reaches into her toolbox and pulls out a handful of components. Take these. Always good to have on hand. Oh, thanks. I'm sleeping here. She's not done yet. Well, uh, let's see. I got that. That's all researched. The next thing is probably to get this flexible fishing pole. Because if I get that, then... Uh, I'll just have oceanic, coastal, and shallow all covered, and I won't have to have, like, the small pole, and I'll be able to fish everything. So, it seems like we do that. So, I'm gonna go fish up some gigantic fish from the ocean. Like sharks. And then we'll swing those back and, uh, make a big profit. All right, how hard can it be to fish up a shark? Apparently really easy. Like, really easy. The real complication with them is fitting them in the ship. Oh my god, they're huge. Oh, no doubt they have a high value. They can fit two. Damn, dude. I'm really liking this game is the thing. Holy heck. Mackerel. Gutter. Blue mackerel. Oh, I have some treasure. I still need to drop off other treasures, so I guess we'll do both. Yo! Time to dredge. Come on, everyone, get excited. It's that time to dredge again. Like, there's no way you dredge up just the earrings, right? Like, I'm dredging up a human head with earrings on it, and then I'm throwing the head back into the water. Like, there's no way I'm just getting earrings with this giant fucking shovel I have. No, I'm getting human bodies, and I'm just, I'm just taking the parts off and then tossing it all back. Like, this is a- look at how big this thing is on the back of the ship. This thing's like ha- this thing's massive. It's just- we're just- we're grave robbing. Okay, so storage is global. I do need to discard all this nasty rot. I really fucked that up. 
I'm sure maybe it has some use later, but like I can, I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm not gonna keep it. Found anything special? Yeah, I found this goblet, this ring, and these earrings. All right, cool. Let's go across. Our ship do go fast though. I'm really curious how much these fish are gonna sell for. Grab some cod too. Maybe I'll get some freaky aberrant cod. Shit. Any eels? Oh, I actually can't fish the eels. All right. I will say this though, I would like the game to just let me scroll through my things here. I can't use the scroll wheel to do this, like to go to the other powers. I wouldn't mind just being able to scroll. So I don't have to like pause the game and open a menu every time. Maybe it's in the options and I just didn't see it. Hey man, how much do you buy sharks for? A hundred bucks each, huh? Yeah, not bad. Yeah, we'll sell everything. Cool. $378? There's no way that that other fishing rod is more than that. 460 Ray, you are trying to scam me! Okay, fine. I'll be right back. But I'm mad. Just for the record. I am upset. We'll just fish up some squid. Some other garbage and then we'll be good. Okay, that's all the squid in the entire area. That's eels. We can't actually fish up. Uh, no, we can't fish up eels yet. Tell you what we'll do, chat. We'll just fish up some late night, middle of the actual real ocean monsters. And just avoid that horrifying boat over there. Gotta be something of value out here in the water. Huh, did you know that despite the fact that time is paused right now, creatures uh still move? That's epic. That's 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 really epic. That's really epic. That's epic. I mean that's epic and cool. Okay, fuck off. Fuck off. Stop. 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 I'm sleeping. We're sleeping. I've changed my mind. Something slithers into your cargo hold. It better be cool. Something infected my arrow squid. Well, can I still sell it? No more infected than the aberrant fish, right? He bought it. He doesn't care. He's a nasty fishmonger. He loves eating the nastiest fish we can find him. He's like a little, he's like a little freak. <laughs> he's monging again. He just can't fucking help himself. I just need a little bit more money and I'll be able to, uh, I'll be able to get the good stuff. Salt card. Oh. It was that? Bronze whalers. Okay, we'll go get those. Those are good money. Doomed the town for five dollars, and I do it another hundred fucking times. Okay, what do I care? I need money. Oh yeah, look at that. Is there another one? I thought there was another thing of these. Oh, I guess that's it. Whoa! I saw a fish that looked like an idiot for a second. Look at that bozo. Okay, so if we're gonna go any farther out into sea, we need a Bissell. 
Whoa, 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 I saw something. That's a new fish. It's like a swordfish. Let's go get that. New fish. Let's go get that swordfish. I know I can like go south towards uh, Gale Cliffs to get uh, more artifacts. I want to get some upgrades first or I feel like I'm going to be going into a zone I'm not prepared for. I feel like I need to get some money. Hopefully I can fit these. Holy shit. What the f Fuck. Uh. Dude. Ain't no way. There's just no way. I, I wouldn't be able to do it. One of these has to go. And I'm going to bring this back because I want to know how much it's going to sell for. It's got to go. Only way I can get the encyclopedia unlocked and stuff. A boatlet. I really need upgrades. Dude, that's why I'm like out here trying to dredge. My dude's only an entry level dredger, alright? He doesn't. Help! Something to dredge! Slash me dredges. Hard. I'm fucking dredging! All right, we got there. Nice. Game is called Dredge, doesn't dredge. Dude, it's not like I'm fucking trying not to dredge. There's just not much stuff to dredge. I can't magically create things to dredge. The engine blew up. Oops. Look what you did. Okay, ditching the shark was not worth it. That's not worth that much more money. How am I supposed to afford the new fishing rod now? selling the old one all right good we've got fishing rods for everything punching some of this cloth to the dry dock which means we get this upgrade oh wait no that's lim that's lumber dude I need so much wood for everything where is a man supposed to find some wood to dredge? Wasn't there some dredge? There was something to dredge out here. Do I have like fellow dredgers that are dredging up when I'm trying to dredge? Yeah, I'm going to do a bit of a midnight dredging because I, I desperately need to. We need upgrades. All right. That really? Damn, yeah, man. With what with all these trees everywhere, you think finding fucking wood would be easy. But it's not. It's actually really hard. But well, we can bring this one back. And maybe I'll fish up some of these eels while I'm out. Weird ass eel. Well, you've officially hunted eels to extinction again. And just in time for sunrise. Doesn't learn. What do you mean? My eye is fine, chat. Just because it's just because I, my guy's having a bad time doesn't mean he's actually in any imminent danger. Goddamn. 
Besides, I need the money. Uh, rod spaces is cool. Net spaces is useless. Engine spaces, light spaces. I guess we get engine spaces first. Because I think I need all of them in order to uh, get the next. I think I, yeah, I think I need every single one before I can get tier two hull. I mean, we're not going to use it, but can I just move this? Cool. That does make my life a little bit more convenient right away. I think now that we have all this stuff, we take a trip on over, pick up all of our crabs. Loot those crabs, get all that shit sorted, see if the builder's in town and has finished their project. And then maybe we uh, swing on down to that new island south. Pick up some sharks on the way. She's so fucking dead. No, she isn't. She's fine. Ain't no one died out here in these waters. Why is the game shaming me for fishing? Dude. It's careless harvesting. Not, I'll tell you who's careless. These sharks for being on the very surface of the fucking water. How deep is the fucking ocean and they want to be up here with me? Sounds like a them problem. Fucking hell. If I, what I was doing was so wrong, God himself would smite my character and hit him with a lightning bolt. I need to go back to town because I fished so hard I actually can't do the thing I wanted to do while I was out. So I guess I'll go back home first and make some money. And then I'll have to go out and swim over to all the way over to the builder at night, in the middle of the night. Fine. I need money. I'm so poor. What? Dude. I can't believe you guys would tell me to stop fishing when I only have $200 to my character's name. Like, what the hell? You guys should be encouraging me to fish more. My dude's literally destitute. Look at all those crabs. Look at all the- now look at all those crabs. I don't think I'm gonna keep putting the fish- like the crab pots down though until I need them for something. Uh... Or at least like actively collecting them because they're not really making me that much money. They seem like they'd be better if I was upgrading them, but they're never gonna really get there. I can't even pick up the last one. And I think there's a horrid, awful fish in here that I kind of want more than the crabs. Hang on. We might have another Cyclops fish. That's just a grouper. No one cares about that. Now, where's the freak? Ew! Oh, nasty! Awful! Anyways, I can sell that to the fishmonger. He's going to fucking love this. Hang on. I just need to do some inventory management. Dude, it's gonna take him. Bear with me, everyone. These crab pots really complicate the whole thing for me quite a bit. Too many fiddlers, dude. Just too many fucking fiddlers. I'll tell you what. God damn it. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. I've had enough of it. I hate crabs now. I'm not a crab man anymore. The lights are going out. Well, this lady's done building her house. Ah. Hey, thanks again for helping me move out here. I've managed to get myself set up now. Thanks also for showing up at 917 at night, you fucking creep. I found this while I was unpacking. You should take it. She hands you a book. The cover is dusty, but in otherwise good condition. If you ever need to use the dock or store stuff here, be my guest. Oh, hang on. Can I... The storage is universal, so I really could have just... 
you know, I could have I could have saved those crabs, but I didn't know any better. I just didn't know any better. Whatever. Anyways, I'm gonna put all these crabs in storage. All this stuff is going into storage. Because this is gonna be my chance to test if, uh, it actually is going to go across the whole thing. I'm gonna keep this in my inventory, though, because if that's not how it works, and I'm somehow actually going full-on cuckoo crazy, then, uh, you know, we'll know. Also, no, I'm not fucking sleeping through the night. Oh! Almost just crashed my ship into that fucking rock. Hang on, is that night? Is that a night shark? Hold up. Super sharks. Yep. Ah, uh, maybe we can swing on back to the. Uh... Yeah, let's just go back to the. Park! I don't want to chat. I can't sleep because if I sleep, the food's gonna go bad. These crabs ain't gonna keep forever. Okay, I'm gonna go sleep. Oh. Okay, I can see. Let's go now. What the fuck was that? Did you guys see that? We're leaving. Grab this, pick it up, we're leaving. I don't have the space, we're leaving. Stream is haunted. I saw something in the fucking water and I had a giant red eye. There's something in the deep beneath these very lands. Don't you see? We are not alone. The sea gods are mad at us for eating fish. They want us dead. Here's the thing. I'm going to sell these crab pots because I'm going to eventually upgrade the crab pots and though they won't they'll just be the old ones will just be garbage that I don't feel like using anymore. I'm just gonna sell that broken one so it's not taking up inventory space because I don't really want to do the crab pot mechanics right now. Well, at least all the crabs didn't go bad. All right, chat. I think it's time to get on southward. I think it's time to... Hang on, those are some free whalers. Hang on. Hang on, maybe after I pick up these old whalers, maybe then. Let me just, let me just fish this. All right. So what I want to do is go southwest. Sorry, I meant to say southeast. To the other archipelago. Chad, it's fine though. We'll, we'll make it in time. We're not going to die out here. It's not that long of a trip. As long as the engine doesn't break. We should also keep a lookout for anything we can dredge. Oh, I do want that swordfish. No, I can't get distracted. No, I can. Is that a shipwreck? <laughs> He's just zigzagging. He's not going anywhere. I need to dredge. You don't understand. I have to dredge. A rotten mast lays down on this island. Half hidden by the foliage. At its base, an old boat is cracked in two. Look inside it. Holy shit. And you guys didn't want me to fucking dredge. Oh my god, looking like idiots. I even got a bag of doubloons. 
Didn't want me to dredge. Don't want me to dredge. Don't want me to fish. So fucking typical. What the fuck was that? Did I see that? That's weird. I can fish abyssal soon, I think. Oh, there's town. Oh, hey, dolphins! Oh, no, you fucking don't. You're getting over here. Hey, come here! Leave them alone? I'm not gonna eat them. Which one of these two places seems like it's most likely to have, like, a... We're fine. This is fine. Park. 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 Park the boat. Ahoy there, you're a new fish. A, f a fisherman, I take it. Perfect. Well, we should get along like a house on fire. Haha. <laughs> I'm a traveler and a merchant. All rolled into one. If you have any fish to sell, I'll take them on board and sell them at the next town I come across. Likewise, I haul a small cargo of equipment between places. You're welcome to peruse the stock and see if there's anything that takes your fancy. Come and see me if you're ready to trade. Oh my god, a fishmonger who doesn't eat the nasty fish or mong? Yo, hold up. I can actually sell fish to this person without being worried they're going to mong. Nice. You might be used to dry docks at other ports, but we can make the same upgrades to your boat here at this floating dock. Check it out. Oh, cool. It even saves all the old stuff I've collected, so that's awesome. Nice. I need so much wood. It's all I need to finish all these upgrades, chat. Even storage is carried over. That's great. Okay. The storage system is very forgiving, and I like that. Huh. Hey again, come by for a chat? Do you need help with anything? Assistance from an angler? Absolutely. I've been trying to collect records of where each species of fish is located. I've figured out most of them on my travel so far, but there are a few I haven't been able to track down. Reckon you could share some info with me? Sure, yeah, whatever. Great, the fish I have left to track down are oarfish, gulper, eel, goliath, Oh, gulper eel. I was like, you haven't, lady. I was like, literally, like, lady, you haven't found eels? Gulper eel, goliath, tigerfish, and colacanth. Okay. I know a little about each species already, so maybe I can point you in the right direction. What do you want to know? Don't tell me. I'll find them on my own. Is there anything else you want to know? No. Fucking wants to spoil the fucking game for me. Anyways, I'm gonna go to the haunted section over here and collect another artifact. Oh, yeah. Salmon. 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 What the fuck was that sound? I'm not done fishing. Yep. That rock didn't used to be there. Let's just head on back. Hang on, I'll see a... Oh my god. I'll see a message in a bottle. Artifact manifest. Well, I'll get to that once I... Oh! Once I park. All right. There's no shops here. What good is this place? <laughs> Lightning strikes. What is it? Do you need help with anything? <laughs> Where can I sell my fish? We catch fish ourselves here, so we don't have much for need for buying any. What? 
Is she 50 or 5? I don't know. Which is why I think that's what the dog's thinking too. But there's a merchant who travels around. She's usually anchored across the bay. She buys and sells almost anything. She does repairs too. Anything else? Uh, do you need help with anything? I've been trying to prepare a special meal for my partner, but I've been having some issues. Okay, so they're 50. <laughs> All right, so they're 50. Around here, we consider aged conger eels to be a particular delicacy. You may say they're rotting, but they're delicious if prepared correctly. What? You one of those century egg folks? <laughs> You like eating nasty garbage, you freak. Normally, we bury them in the ground and allow them <laughs> to mature. Here we go again, brother. Here we go again. Century eel, huh? <laughs> we doing century eel today? You gotta be kidding me. I can't raise the subject without spoiling a surprise. Can you bring me an aged conger eel? Yeah, sure. Thanks. You'll be decently compensated. Well, at least she's being honest and wasn't like you'll be well compensated. She basically said, thanks. I'll scrape together something to give you. A couple of dollars. Anything else? Where can I catch a conger eel? Ah, uh, yeah, they can be tricky to find. I'm told they inhabit the holes and burrows within the cliffs themselves. I imagine they're fished out around the edges, so you may have to venture into the passageways of the cliffs to find them. Oh, did I mention that they only come out at night? I believe they hide during the day. Good luck. Fucking Christ. Well, I'm sleeping here. After I talked to this old man. Never mind. I took one look at him and I knew he didn't want to deal with my shit. I can't sleep. My food's going to go bad. I have to sell this. Gotta sell it while it's fresh. Think about how much salmon we're leaving on the table if we don't sell. Look at all this. All right. Almost a thousand dollars in the in the bank. Now, what we want to do with the rest of our time is try to fish up some wood. metal. Dude, I don't need metal. I need fucking wood. How hard is it to find wood to dredge? Hang on, this is like some rare dredge. Hang on, we got a rare dredge here. Research part. Well, that's good. Is there another one? No, there's just some weird-ass fish. Oh, what the heck? Wreckfish. Huh. Grab a couple of those. We're, like, right here. I'm just gonna run over an instant and sell them. That's a big-ass fish. I've seen larger. I've seen more impressive. How much do they sell for, though? That's not bad. All right. I guess I'm gonna go in to the cliffs. Because we need to find those eels. And also, I feel like we might find lumber while we're in here. The eels will only come out at night. So first thing we're gonna do is look for that lumber. How dangerous can the dusty... How, how dangerous can gale cliffs really be? There's not like there's gonna be giant gales! Beep! 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 We'll take a different route. What the fuck is that? Okay, the gale cliffs fucking suck. That's what I learned today. Today I learned the gale cliff is bad. And we're not doing this anymore. Submarine? That ain't no submarine, son. Park. 
An old man emerges from one of the nearby broken buildings and hobbles towards you. Oh, ah, uh, greetings. Don't get many visitors around here. What is it that you need? Why do you still live here? I just watched a giant fucking fish the size of the town swim by. I've been stubbornly holding out here for quite some time. Truth be told, I've been considering... I've been reconsidering my position lately. I've been happy here for so long. My wife and I had such a beautiful life until the collapse. The collapse? Now I'm alone, cut off by land and sea, left only with these trembling rocks on all sides. I can help you move to Ingfell. It's not that simple. My brother would never, you see. I used to live in Ingfell with my brother. He was a whaler back in the day. Things were bad. We fought a lot, mostly about how our parents' inheritance should be divided. We were in the prime foolishness of our youth. When my wife and I decided to move here, I took the family crest. I stole it from him. Now, after all this time, I can't return without it. Where is it? That's where the problem lies. After the collapse, that creature dragged debris from the houses down into its wretched burrows. The crest went down with it. It's a lost cause, I know, but if you were to find it, it's a large whalebone crest. It would mean the world for me. Yeah, don't get your fucking hopes up, old man. Oh, I won't. <laughs> I'm just being honest. I saw that fucking thing. Don't get your fucking hopes up. The collapse. You think I'm gonna go in there because it collapsed? Yeah, right. Do you know how I could clear the debris around here? You'd probably need some bombs. My brother and Ingfail used to make bombs for the whaling operations. You see nasty stuff, but with all the whales gone, I can't imagine he's still in business. Okay. I would love that. I need... I need bombs. All right, chat. We know what we gotta do next. We need to collect bombs. Next thing on the docket is to collect a lot of bombs. Oh! Wood metal! Fuck the bombs! Get that out of here! We need this. I'm gonna fucking dredge! I'm dredging! More. Oh, hell yeah, it's a gigantic vein of wood. By God, it's, a, it's the mother load. And we have metal too. Just gotta hope that horrible creature of the abyss doesn't see what I'm doing and try to kill me. I don't think the odds are very high I'm gonna get any more out of this. Yeah, I don't think there's any way it maths out. Yeah, let's get let's let's get the hell out of here. Before it shows up. Oh. No, oh, this let's park. Yeah, let's go ahead and park. Can I talk to this guy about bombs? I heard you used to make explosives. I at the sometimes the carcasses needed breaking up. It wasn't the most efficient, but or the more more pleasant. Uh, but it got the job done. I've been thinking about getting back into it. Back into making bombs. I might be able to rustle up something strong enough to clear those debris piles in the cliff. Ah, but I'm not so sure. I don't have the energy these days. I'd have a use for explosives like that. Alright, I'll think on it some more, but I make no promises. Anything else? No. Why do I get the weird feeling he's gonna think on it until I reunite him with his brother? You know what I mean, chat? Like, I get this weird feeling he's gonna be thinking on it for a long time. Until his brother shows up. Well, I'm gonna sell some fish at the fish market if I had any, which I don't. So I'm gonna go on over to the shipyard, I mean the floating dock, and I'm gonna deliver a bunch of stuff. 
and I'm gonna purchase the upgrades. Matter of fact, I'm gonna purchase many upgrades. All right. Yeah, but what is a fucking like net? What does a net do? Refined metal. Looks like you can buy some things. Dude, we can buy a real light. The simple design will passively catch basic fish when deployed. A wise investment for those that want to explore the oceans. That's not bad. Capacity five by five. I mean, I still like being, I like the, it's just basic fish. It's never going to be the good shit. You know, we want the good shit. I'm not going to be tricked. Tell you what we're going to do since the sun's coming up. We're going to do a lap around the exterior of this island and try to get the last of the wood we need. Along with maybe fish up a couple more things here and there. Oh, I actually need to deposit the metal though. Hang on, I got to take that to storage. Don't! Oh! The hull's damaged and my rod is disabled. I fucked up. I took the turn too too sharp. I dinked it. I dinked it bad. Oh, I dinked it. I would like to research. Huh. I mean, if you need a lot of money, I bet these nets are cracked, but I don't. I need better fucking fishing rods. Thing is, which one of these do I think I'm gonna need the, the fastest? I haven't seen any volcanoes here, so I'm gonna assume I want anti-tangle. Would be the one I'd want the most. We don't see any volcanoes out here by the by, by the collapse. I should have sold that fish while I was out. While I was there. But anyways. Let's take a look around. Because we need to get wood. What is this weird ass thing? Freak! Oh, it's just a sturgeon. A trophy sturgeon at that. Cool. Uh, inventory management. Not my best, not my best ability. Though I always enjoy it in games. And that's two veins of wood. All this sturgeon that I fished up and killed getting tossed right back into the water. I hate to break you to it. We are stockpiling a lot of wood here. I will huck all that sturgeon, but the trophy went out. Yup. Get ready to be disposed of. Can't you see I'm dredging? You wait there. You get lost. You get fucking lost. I know I'm gonna need to. I'm gonna need more spots because we have another thing here. Of like metal or cloth or some shit. Metal. Yeah. We have money. We need we need hardwood. Uh, I might fish up this because this is probably like jewels, jewels and gemstones beneath the surface of the waves. Okay, it could have been a one by one. That would have been really fucking nice of it. Are you kidding me? Sorry, bozo. Could have been convenient. Anyways, let's go sell this shit. 
The fog! The accursed fog! Not the trophy sturgeon! <laughs> no! Not the sturgeon! My fucking trophy sturgeon! God fucking damn it! What was it all for? What the hell was I, what was I doing all this for? Deserve. What do you mean deserved? I didn't do anything wrong! I bet it was worth a million billion fucking dollars. I didn't do anything wrong. I don't des I didn't deserve that. You have no respect for the fish. I tossed them back. They were alive. Still. I tossed them back. Of course I did. Oh my god. Okay, it's a little expensive. Good news is we're already almost halfway done. The cloth is... Actually, I think I have cloth. Don't I? Yep. I think I still need one more metal as well. Yeah, not bad, dude. We're already halfway done with it. Also, I managed to... If I do... Chat! If I do this, I can trick it into thinking that I have all the pieces! Okay. <laughs> Turns out I can't trick it into thinking I have all the pieces. Though that would have been nice. Alright, fine. It was a nice try though, right? Chad, I think we have to brave... Hang on, first I'm gonna deposit this treasure. I think we have to brave the cliffs. I really want to get that spooky eel, and that means I have to go in there at night. Which means probably realistically going in there during the day. Wait. Did I not buy... Hang on. I thought I... Oh, I, it just updated. Okay, because I wanted to buy the upgraded light, actually. Because I have the money to do that. I wanted to get the better light. So I'm actually going to uninstall this and just put it in storage. Just in case. I want a fucking 1800 lumen Omega Spotlight. I will not be scared by the darkness anymore. I'm also going to buy this now. Because I know I need it for the next upgrade. I'm just going to put it in right now. Art of Silver Tongue added to the cabin. Oh, she's giving me a book. Looking through it, you see, you see page corners turned in and handwritten notes in the margins. Oh, thank you. I didn't realize there was dialogue or I would have read it. All right, so we just need two wood and th uh, two um, cloth and we're done with the first uh, upgrade. Dude, look at the size of that light now. By God. By God, look at that thing. Anyways, we're going into the... Well, we're going in. After I take a gigantic swig of water. Guys, that gale isn't going to come anywhere near me. Don't worry. I actually have training in this. Did you see that? Expertly evaded. We just have to get around this corner. Ignore the... That's a fucking dredge right there. Holy dredge, dude. You know I can't resist a good dredge. Yep. We got time to do one more and that'll take care of the cloth requirement for our new hull. What's one more cloth for the road? 
I only need to get one eel for that weird girl. Yep. What the fuck? There's white teeth on these rocks. Huh. Well, I need to get in there. I don't think I'm seeing like roadblocks on the other side as well. Well, I can still try to get the eel once the sun sets. I guess I'll just like post up here by these burns. <laughs> I guess I'll just post up here by the ship that got eaten by a giant fish. That looks good. Yeah. All right, chat. We're gonna park ourselves right here. Keep your wits about you. You have no idea where a creature could emerge from. We are waiting for eels to come out. That ain't eels. We're looking for something that looks like a noodle. Or is it just only going to spawn within that area? Because if it is, then we're in trouble. Because we can't get in there, I don't think. I could try looping around. Well, I'm going to figure out what this is anyways. Let's fish up one of these. What the fuck does this one want from me? Oh, I see. Stonefish. Well, I'm going to fish it up anyways. Even though it's not necessarily what I'm looking for. Something to sell. Any eels? Yo, manta rays! Wait, no, that's a devil ray. Ew, throw it back. We need to go home. It's getting dark. That manta ray is evil, we throw it back. What's that sound? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna go back to the... Wait, but there's something over there. Ignore these mechanics. There's something glowing in the water. Go towards it. Decaying blackmouth. Okay, dude. Really epic. I want that more than I want another stonefish, technically. So I'm just gonna fish up another one. Guys, I'm fine. I'm not gonna lose it. Everyone just be cool. We're going back right now. I'm not losing it. I'm not crazy. We're parking. Mm. All right, lady. First thing I want to do is stop by the floating dock. I'd like to deposit some of this cloth. Then, I'd like to go to the fish market. I'd like to sell you some fish. All right. Those fish did not sell for very much money. I gotta go drop off a bunch of treasure. All right, my guy's cool again. Dude, why did, uh, where did, why? Oh, I got a lot of books to read. I need to start doing those. I also have this thing. Artifact manifest. Vessel SY grind prize owner, Mr. Michael Schult. Oh, this is some, some garbage. Oaken music box purchased from an antiquarian at Little Marrow for bargain price previously salvaged from an undisclosed shipwreck has a letter J carved in the underside. Otherwise in reasonable condition. It's not been opened for fear of damaging the mechanism pending inspection by locksmith. Okay, that's one of the things that guy's looking for. Carved wooden tribal mask said to bring good luck, fertility, good health, fortune, rain, and protection from evil spirits. Well, the rain's kind of like a debuff in there. I don't, want, I don't really want that all the time. Traded for a pair of socks and a pocket watch. 
You see, that's exactly what I would trade it for, too, because after I got good luck and, like, good health and fortune, none of that would really matter if my socks were fucking sopping wet all the time from all the rain. Okay, suddenly the good luck and good fortune doesn't really seem like it's kind of a monkey's paw situation here. Like, I wished for, like, good fortune, but it comes with my socks always being wet, so what's the fucking good of it? You know? Bone China, six cup, six saucer, acquired from an eastern dealer, do not use. Uh... Find the family crest at Gale Cliffs. That's going to be complicated to do. Because I can't go into the cliffs without first destroying the wall. I spoke to... Uh, ought to be living in the center of Gale Cliffs. I don't... The center is this. The center is not that. The center is this. So I think I just missed it or didn't spawn in. I, uh, at least that's how I'm interpreting it. But I'm going to check with this guy again. Because he might be ready with the dynamite. Maybe he's changed his mind. You know? Oops. Damn it. Maybe, maybe... That or I have to circle all the way around the whole perimeter of the place. But that's kind of psycho. Chat, that's... Really not a good idea. Okay, that's all I can say about that one. Have you guys seen the Gales of Gale Cliff? Oh, hang on. There's treasure here. I dredge. I dredge. Now, if there's one thing everyone knows about me, it's that I can't stop dredging even for a second. These don't really sell for a lot. Grab one for now, but I don't think they're really very good. Now. Hey, why is- I- I get the weird feeling from all the dust falling off this cliff that a big rock is about to land on my boat. Oh, we're fine. Alright, get lost. We're gonna ditch this other rock. I'm just gonna pull out a ton of fucking, like, crafting materials from this area. There seems to be a lot of it. Get lost. Yeah, the whole center is blocked off. And if we want to get in there, we need that dynamite. 9th of September, 1927. He still refuses to take me aboard when he's working. He's convinced that I will find it dull or that the crew will be crass or otherwise intolerable. Perhaps I'm being overly needy. I know he needs time alone, but I'm so desperately bored at home when he's away. He recently installed some salvaging equipment onto the boat. I think the idea of pulling up treasure is terribly exciting. I must convince him to let me have a go. Nah, nah. We have established Tomato doesn't throw the extra fish back. He breaks them in half and throws them in the trash. Well, they're used. Chad, it's like you can't like... If you drive a car... If you buy a car new and you drive it off that lot, it has depreciated in value massively. It is essentially garbage. It's turned from new to trash. Same thing can be said for fish. You can tell a mile away if you fish up a used fish. Look, look at this thing. It's got the eyes of a fish that's already been emotionally torn up by being decided as just simply worthless and thrown into the garbage already once before. It's got a body language that shows that it's not going to be good for eating. All right? It's useless now. Flavor's gone. You gotta make sure you check the odometer. <laughs> You gotta make sure you check the odometer on the east fish. Oh. Huh. Well, let's drop off all my stuff. I kind of want to swing back to the center zone. Quick. Uh, 
uh, uh, yes, I would like to sell my mackerels. Thank you. Okay. I'm not. I'm gonna go back across the bay and see if that guy wants to uh, make me a bomb or not. Because otherwise, what good is he? We're gonna swing over and see if that guy wants to do that. If not, we might just have to figure out another method. Make me explosives! God damn it! Okay, well, I'm gonna go into the into the area again see if I can get that eel maybe those eels are out now can I oh mother of God the rocks the rocks there's more rocks nowadays than there used to be oh 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 he took my fishing pole Hold on to something, Chad. We're gonna get out of here. Skirt. I live. Ninety dollars. Holy shit! Don't get attacked by the giant death fish. Fuck this area, dude. Holy crap. We're going back to the Marrows. I want to sell all my treasure. At least you always know where the Marrows are because of the lighthouse. Hard to get lost out here. You just go in the direction of the light. We are once more poor. Well, I mean, we're not going to be for very long. We got swordfish. We're gonna fish up lots of deep sea stock while we're out. Yep. Dude, honestly, I've had swordfish before, like eating it. It is not very good. Like it's not any more, spe it's like just average old fish. Like it's a normal old fish. Same with like shark. Those two fish, they've got fancy words. For what is a fairly average tasting fish. Maybe it's because salmon makes every other fish taste slightly worse by comparison because salmon is objectively the best fish on the market. Dude, this fucking swordfish is actually pissing me off too. Like, I can't even fit sharks in at the same time. Dude. Mm. Break shark in half. Throws it back. Any wood? Any wood to dredge? There's only cloth to dredge. I need wood to dredge. We may never find the wood we need to finish our vessel. We may live the rest of our lives in a tier one ship, getting owned by creatures in the Gale Cliffs. Can't, yeah, there's no such thing as wood chat. We need to start accepting that. The sooner we accept that, the happier we'll finally be. We, we've lived for too long believing this myth that wood is real. It ain't.
Well, hey, at least we made our money back from that horrible accident. Chat, that taught me something important. Uh, I think I need to get a second one of these refined outboard engines. <laughs> I know it's gonna take up some hull space, but like, uh, I need to be faster. Um, there's creatures in the darkness, you see, and they will eat me. They will fucking kill me while I'm in there trying to get my money. Can't keep living like this. Oh, special fish, special fish. Super squid. Oh, that's just a normal one. It's still in there. Brood squid. That is just awful. I'm gonna sell it. Yeah, I'm selling that. Trophy squid. These squids have never let me down, dude. I swear. Ooh, an another one. Yo. Snag squid. Dude, these squids... Making me a lot of money today. Making me a lot of money. Very pleased with the amount of squids I'm pulling out of these waters. Why does it have teeth? Tasting tongues writhe wildly around sets of yellowed, crooked teeth. The top row are flattened like human molars. Tentacles sprout from a glowing core inside a gelatinous sack. Other cores lay dormant alongside. I'm just here to sell my doubloons. Cool. Right, let's go sell this stuff. Back at the other town. At night. Just catching, I was just catching that one because I wanted to see if it actually had any kind of like, I don't know, special size. Just want to see if maybe I could squeeze it in. And we're dodging that. And we're going to the town. I'm not changing course just because a giant tornado tried to hit me. That doesn't... I'm not a pussy. Okay, is it fucking chasing me? Oh! Missed again, idiot. Dude, it's got to be embarrassing to not be able to aim. Wow, we are still a long way from there, huh? 2 a.m., huh? Oh, you're going to have to try harder than that. <laughs> what I thought was the... Uh, fucking fish place was actually just a buoy. Oh! You're gonna have to aim. Yeah, that's right. Go ahead and cease to exist. You are watching this. Go ahead and watch all you want. Oh! I don't just get killed by any old ocean phenomenon. You're gonna have to try a little harder than that. Uh, another beautiful day, the sun rises. Hmm. Everything okay? You've been standing there for a while. You you need to have a rest? I'm fine. Bye, these weird squids. I would like to buy another engine, please. I need to be faster. Holy shit. Well, if that eel is in there, we'll be getting it this time, no doubt. I don't think that big guy's gonna be able to keep up with me now. Should sleep. 
No! Easy. Dude, I'm fast. Holy, this is worth it. The loss of space is worth it for the fact that I am fast, dude. Holy crap. Wake up. Time to make our money. We need to find those eels. Dude, better find eels. Stonefish. Some kind of weird devil manta ray. Dude, this boat almost goes too fast for this area. Oh, I see something special. Still no- I'm starting to think the eels might actually be behind those rocks, which is a little bit annoying. You might need to get that crest first. I mean, there's this to investigate, but I think this is also going to be the same thing. I think this would take some strong explosives. Yeah, I don't really know how to get that crest. This might be like a comeback later kind of whole situation at this point if I can't find the eels. Hey, I'll need the light on. Thank you. Don't do that again. Huh. Yeah, I'm thinking we're not going to be finding any eels. Unless that's eels. No, that's metal debris. Yeah. That might be eels. That's the eels. How big is this thing? Dude, I'm having things whispering into my fucking ears right now. I don't have time to deal with this. Good enough. I need to get away from that. And hopefully not crash violently. Hold up, special item. I need to get this. I don't care if I die. Give me this. Okay. We're fine, Chad. It's daytime. We can drop off this eel before it goes bad. I swear to fucking God. Okay, look. <laughs> We're good. Let's get this dropped off to the lady before it goes bad. She said it would go bad. If that was even the right one, that or that's the rare one, I need a different one. I can't remember which one she needed. Okay, she needed the conger eel. Oh, yep. That's a conger eel, all right, but it's not sufficiently aged. If I take it right now, the dog is sure to snatch it before it ages fully. What? Please come back after it's had some time to mature. Anything else? Holy crap. All right, lady. Drops eel in middle of room, sits there and watches it for five hours. Is it aged? Still fresh. Back to waiting. See you in another two hours. Still fresh. Dude, my my oh, this other shit's going bad. While I I, I fucked up. I should have sold the other ones. It doesn't matter. The difference of like $10 or whatever isn't that big of a deal. Mm. Shut up. I'll buy this nasty salmon. Yeah, the stale doesn't matter. They're still sold for plenty, but... I need to make sure I'm actually over there to drop off this one when it goes bad. What a weirdo. This town's weird. Like, this girl's fucked in the head. 
Yeah, still fresh. Okay. Still. How, st how, how nasty you want it? <laughs> All right, lady. How nasty you want this thing? Hmm, no, that's not possibly aged enough. Okay. You know, lady, when you're supposed to let something age, you're like supposed to like use things to make sure that it ages and doesn't rot. There's a significant difference between something that's aged and something that's rotted and bad. Uh, but I guess we're just doing it this way because I'm not using like anything for this. This is just a straight up nasty old eel. All right, it's 136. Still own merely stale eel. 6 a.m. Is the eel done? No. <laughs> I'm so happy I get to keep this thing in my room while it while it goes completely fucking bad. Rotting. Better not have missed it. I will tear my fucking hair out. Here's the aged conger eel you asked for. I would call it rotting, but you'll want to say age. Perfect. This will do wonderfully. I can offer you a small sum and thanks. Holy shit. Only paid me 150 to watch a perfectly good eel decompose. Whatever. There's not much... I guess I'm gonna go around the entire place and see if there's actually a way I can get into the back without using dynamite. Because, like, otherwise there's no way for us to get the crest. Because that's where the crest is. If seemingly I need the crest in order to get that guy to move over to the right spot so that he can get his brother to get the dynamite for me, then that's not the solution. So I'm gonna loop around. Lots of wreckage. Starting to feel like this was the right call. Plus, we're gonna get a lot of wood, which means we can get the upgraded hull. This is good. Lots of wood. This is very good. Alright, great. Can I get in here from here? I can. This is a pathway into the middle. Do I really want to do a path into the middle at night? That's a normal wreck fish. Wait. What the fu- Ah, oh, it's changed to nighttime. There was a special wreck fish there and it went away. Fuck. I'm gonna get this. Check this out. Before the fish notices. Fucking easy, man. And I still have time to fish up these. Normal. We're looking for the weird ones. I am just absolutely beefing this. Holy crap. Norm. Okay, that's a good one. Wait, there's another weird one. Trophy. Uh. You guys thought I couldn't fit it in there, dude, but I showed you. I showed you I knew how to do it. There's no way I'm getting that one, though. There's just no way. We're gonna bring this back because we are far away from our actual, like, destination. And it's the middle of the night. But I do want to double back this way because it looks like there's a bunch more, like, stuff to explore over here. So we will do a second trip tomorrow. Should I be speeding up like this while, uh, I'm panicking? No. No. No, no. I shouldn't be. But I am. Oh! Look at the drift, dude. All right. Got your crest for you. 
Hello again, what can I do for you? Is this your family crest? You found it! I never thought I'd see this beauty again, but now I have a further favor to ask. Would you take this to my brother at Inkfell? Tell him. Tell him his brother is sorry. Would like to come home. Tell him yourself, you old fuck. You coward. You goddamn coward. You want me to do everything for you? Do you want me to also, do you want me to also get on my knees and beg him to forgive me? Which is you in this case? Do you want me to do all for it? Oh, you, you're pathetic. You're the one with the boat. You just come with me. Let me pack him into the fucking cargo like I did that other lady. What's so wrong with that? I believe this crest is yours. God, I haven't seen this since. Huh. So we did take it. I knew it. Your brother's sorry. Will you let him come home? I don't know if I was in a right state when he left. Okay, fine. He can stay in my old workshop, at least for the time being. I'll need some time to clear it out. While I'm doing that, perhaps you can do something for me. <sighs> if I have to. See, I've been trying to clear some debris in the pathways through the cliffs to make a shortcut with explosives. I was able to set a charge, but the cliff seemed particularly unsteady that day, so I didn't risk detonating it. Just need to get in there and set it off. It's not far in. I left some yellow flags nearby. Can't miss it. Oh, that's easy. Okay. I gotta drop off some fish. Dude, I'm very fast, though. Holy heck. I know where that is already. Fish sold. All right, time to get my big upgrade. Hull upgraded. We are cooking with gas. Way more space. Way more fucking space, chat. Way more space. Four new slots of space, which in this game is a big deal. That's a huge deal in a Tetris game. That changes everything. And we can immediately go to upgrade another four on top of it. Nice. Time to rest. All right, rest time's over. <laughs> it's been five hours. And by five hours, I mean five minutes and I'm fine. I'm gonna go blow up that wall. Skirt. Eh. Let's get her done. At least at this speed, I don't really have to worry about the giant fish being able to touch me. Pile of loose debris in the gaps of the rocks. You can see what appear to be large white teeth. There's a long fuse trailing out from the side. This must be the location the whaler wants cleared for a shortcut. Light the fuse? Yeah. You light the fuse. Easy, man. The debris crumbles away. Away. You should let the whaler know. Uh, after I've looted this place again, because I'm not done here. There's a ton of stuff on this side. Look at all this crap. Totally unguarded. I think I'm going to leave without getting some goods. One whole doubloon. Give me a break. I know there's a bunch of, like, actual upgrade materials over here, so... Yeah, there it is. He loves to pillage. It's not pillaging. Ow! Fuck! My dredge! Ow! My dredge! Like, looking at chat while I do this. Loads of metal scraps. What the fuck is that? You think you can just catch me that easy? Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right, Slowpoke. Yeah, right. You want to take this out to the high seas, Bozo? Or do you want us to do this here on your home turf and embarrass you in front of your family? Yeah, that's right. Swim away. Swim away. I got some fucking garbage to collect. 
I start dredging. Think I'm just gonna get owned? Wow, it got really dark really fast, and then my lights went out. Dude, this place haunted as hell, man. But I need these supplies, so I'm not leaving. Dude, I'll never stop, like, treating nights like just a little bit of, like, a more worrisome daytime to, like, collect more supplies until this game actually financially dooms me as a result of my own hubris, you know what I mean? I think I can fit this. Possibly. God damn it. No. I got the shape wrong. Damn. It's like all, it's shaped in just, I can fit it. I just have to, I have to drop like one thing and move a thing over and do this and do that. And then I'd realize I did it in reverse. So I'd have to put it all back again and then swap sides. There. I'm not an idiot and I'm not a moron. I'm boating home at night. And I'm going to speed. <laughs> I'm boating home at night and I'm speeding. What's this? Oh, more metal scrap. We don't need that. All right. Park. You done it. We heard the blast from here. Gods, the echo. I'm surprised the cliffs didn't come down on your head. Got things ready here. Go and tell my brother that he can come home. Okay. Am I gonna have to carry him? I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna go there and ask. It'll be more fun for me if I go there before I offload all my fish. Hello again, what can I do for you? Your brother forgives you, he's found you a place to stay. He does? That's a huge weight off my shoulders. One so old, I hardly remember was there. Right, well, I'm packed and ready to go. Ah, oh, fuck, this old bag. Uh, mm. not enough space for me, eh? I can wait till you make some room. Oh wait, hang on, I figured it out. Wait, hang on, we'll be good. Come on, let's talk again. Uh, I'm ready, ready to pick you up. And I'm just gonna kind of like... Oh, I thought I could discard him from here and just kill him. <laughs> I was just gonna hold the discard button and kill him. I was gonna be like, oh, I found a way to make some space for you. I'm just like fucking really like crumple him up. But it looks like I can't do that. Yeah, I found so I found a way I can make some space for you, man, right here. Oh! And then just like snap him in half, like I do every fish. Rot only takes up one space. Bro. True. The thing is, chat. They're it's very true what that chat member just said. That's the thing. Damn. Time to load up on a lot of upgrades. Once again, the shortage comes down to one thing. Fucking wood. Chat. God damn it. We really have a billion of everything else, but we are always short on wood. We could upgrade, we could get the whole next tier of stuff if we just had wood. That's wild. Well. All right, fisherman, I got, I, I'm ready to pick you up. As soon as I, oh, 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 what the 
fuck was that? Damn, that would have been bad, chat, because I was gonna put the fishermen in those spots. I'm fine. I'm not sleeping. I don't, I don't need to sleep. I'm gonna be fine. I'm fine. I don't need to sleep and I don't need to repair my ship yet. I just need... Okay. To get to the fucking fisherman and bring him to his brother and reunite him. Let me just fish a little first. Never caught one of these. Little, little guys. Kind of cute. Okay. Oh, they're gone now. Hunted to extinction by me. I'm overfishing because I'm planning on just really filling this whole place uh, up like around the guy once I pick him up. So I'm preemptively fishing so I have a better reason to shove him into my like nasty old cargo bay. Ah. Hello again. All right, I'm here to pick you up. It's time. Pack, ready to go. Oh, are you? You just gonna need to give me a second, sir, because I need to make some space for you. You see, I was in the middle of a fishing journey, so I have to... Oh! Oh! The hermit is thrown aboard with all of his belongings haphazardly into the cargo bay, head first. Oh! oh, oh. Get ready, old man! Get ready! Where are you? Where are we going? Are we going to the... Are we going to town? Yeah, we're going to town, all right. Don't deliver him until he is aged. We know how they like it, chat. We know how they like it. We know how they like it. Anyways, dunks old man in water. Pursue result! <laughs> See you later, you old fuck! Skirt! <laughs> is he back here or is he dead? He's gone. Imagine if I soft locked it. I bet I did. They probably never expected anyone to hold right click and kill the old man. The old whaler is waiting for you by the docks. <laughs> he saw it. He saw what I fucking did. <laughs> He watched while I brought his brother out into the fucking ocean and dunked him. There's something I forgot to mention last time we spoke. If you find any more debris that needs clearing, I've got more packed explosives out the back. Come by the old whaling yards if you need it. Oh, any news from my brother? Don't tell me he's hiding below deck. I'm not still mad at him, I promise. Uh, he wanted to move elsewhere. Oh, well, I'm glad he's moved on, at least. I understand him not wanting to come back here. You're too many memories and all that. Yeah. He wanted to move somewhere else. Change of scenery, he wouldn't hurt anyone. Thanks for what you've done all the same. It was some form of help in the end. He walks away from Doc, crestfallen. <laughs> Don't worry, Chad. I'll fish him out of the water in two weeks once he's aged. And then the retired whaler will like him even more. It's going to be perfect. They're going to love it. 
I need to buy bombs. This is on the house. Thanks. I put them in the perfect outline of where his brother used to be. In my cargo hold. Yes. Hope you can put them to good use wherever you find cause for it. Wow, he sells bombs for cheap, huh? Holy heck. Thanks, man. I mean, I should probably sell some, sell some stuff and sleep. Yeah, I literally threw him to the sharks. Dude, I needed to know if it was possible. I'm glad I did it with the old, sad, fucked up man who stole the family crest of his brother and then left him, like, wondering what had happened to it for the rest of his goddamn days instead of, like, the nice builder who just wanted a new world for themselves, all right? And I'm also glad the game gave me the choice to do it. He's actually just buying it. I'm sick of everyone asking me to do chores for them instead of helping me. I'm not a protagonist. I'm a fisherman. I'll fish and I'll dredge. And no, one, no one's ever asking me to fish or dredge. They're asking me to repair the shattered bonds of their family. Sounds like a load of not my problem. Who the fuck climbs in the cargo hold of the dredger? <laughs> okay, you don't just climb into the cargo hold of the dredger, dude. You don't do that. You just don't fucking do that. Why would that? That sounds like a dumb decision. If the nasty guy who fishes up one-eyed cyclopean wonders from the deep and weird, like, like actively engages in grave robbing shipwrecks, fucking carts his boat up to you in the middle of the night and says, get in, we're taking you to your brother now. You don't do it! If the premium first class seat I promised you on my dredging vessel is actually a perfectly outlined hole amidst 80 old rotting fish beneath the deck, it sounds like you shouldn't get in. It sounds like I'm setting you up. It sounds like your problem. Doesn't seem like you thought this through. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. At the end of the day, dude, it's all about spreading positivity, you know what I mean? And you know, I'm glad we're all on the same page on that. We have fun. Alright, I gotta blow up some shit. <laughs> Hashtag keep streaming success. <laughs> Uh, hashtag stream team. All right, the debris's gone. It's time to get some fishing in, some dredging. Oh, oh! Damn, this is a. Oh, Jesus! This is a tough dredge. All right, time for the real one, the music box. This must be it, the thing that guy was looking for. Okay, I'm gonna return to the collector. I know I have other bombs that could be used here. Um, I know other spots by the original town that I'd like to use with this, with these bombs. So I'm gonna go do that. Maybe repair? Pshaw. Shut up. You're gonna tell the dredger what to do after what you saw the dredger do to the last guy? Yeah, right. You're gonna get yourself dredged is what's gonna happen. 
Damn, this music box is the size of a coffin. Yeah, it literally is. <laughs> literally, that music box is canonically the size of a coffin, according to this game. That's the same size as that old man I threw into the ocean. <laughs> Uh, we have fun. We have fun. Whoa, that cot's got teeth. And that's a trophy cot. Not bad. That cot is a meter and a one and point five point one five meters long. Stone hums quietly, sending ripples through the air around it. Faint shapes dance on its surface, vanishing before your eyes can focus. Touch it. Cold stone does not respond to your touch. Okay, well, that was a big waste of my fucking time. Could just said it was a rock. So you've returned. I wasn't sure you were coming back. You drag the massive music box into the room. It really was coffin-sized. Gouging the wooden floorboards beneath it, the collector doesn't seem to mind. He's focused on the box. You found this at the cliffs, didn't you? It don't matter. This should make future return journeys a little more swift. Allow me. He selects one of the silver ribbons trailing from the crimson-bound book, opening it to an unseen page. Turning to catch the dim light, he whispers the words on the page. After a few seconds, you feel your stomach drop suddenly as though thrown high by a wave. He closes the book and turns his attention back to you. Now, there are yet more relics to find. Keep looking. The reef at Stella Basin may have caught some accumulated... Caught and accumulated some wreckage. Search around that area. I'll mark the location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? No, I'm good. Yeah, what did you do to me? Yeah, I actually do have one question. What did you just do to me? Teleport yourself back to where it all began. Oh! Huh? Well, that stressed my guy out. I guess it'll teleport me back to him. You're gonna miss, you stupid tornado. I hope it hurt. Dude, guys, it was one old weird man. A lighthouse keeper is waiting for you on the dock, looking displeased. Uh, I saw you sailing out towards the horizon, crossing that deep expanse. Do you really think that's wise? What's the problem? It feels a bit like tempting fate, does it not? Things are bad enough around here without your provocations. Abruptly, she walks away. Her eyes scan the water as she walks along the dock. Lady, you need to back the fuck up, okay? You need to relax. Hmm. Oh my, you look exhausted. You're not forgetting to get some sleep, are you? As I always say, taking frequent breaks is an important part of being productive. Dude, these people need to all leave me the hell alone. Don't they know I'm dredging? Don't they know? It's like they don't know. I could learn them understand. It's like no one, it's just, like I can't say who asked to these. Oh, we need to repair. I forgot to repair my vehicle. If we hit one more thing, we die. That's it, poof, game over. Good. Damn, guys. Unfortunately for you, I don't plan on dying, so you're gonna be stuck with me even if you hate my character for the horrible crime he chose to do. Okay? He chose to do. I'm merely a grim passenger on this wild ride. I don't make these decisions. <gasps> oh! Wait, I'm way faster than you. Hold up. Stupid fish. He 
<laughs> guys, it wasn't me. It was the dredger. <laughs> guys, come on. It wasn't me. You guys know me. It was the, the dredger told me to do it. He said he wanted to throw that old man into the water. And I said, I don't know about that one, dredger. And he was like, and I'll kill you and your whole family if you don't do it. So I did it. <laughs> All right, I'm using explosives to blow this open. Whatever's in there, I want it now. Oh, it's just like that super metal. Cool, man. I mean, that's worth it. Though I'm definitely feeling that shortage of wood again, where like really, we don't really get much of anything without getting that that good, good wood. Just some stupid idiot shark. Damn it. Ooh! Ow! All right. Maybe the boat too fast. You all know what I mean? Maybe boat... Maybe boat go too fast. What if boat go too fast? And it why we die? Me sometimes think boat go too fast. Boat go too fast get us killed. Yes. Repair my frickin' crap. Okay, uh... Oh, actually, let me get back in there. Deposit. Deposit. And deposit. Oh, and also deposit that. I don't think I'm gonna stop by the shop for that yet. I wanna go to the other island. I can't believe this guy's still alive, despite eating all those horrible, horrible creatures. That wants us to go to the center of Stellar Basin? That sounds free. There's nothing that can block that. All right, we're going to the center of Stellar Basin to get the next relic. It should be easy. It's right over there. Come on, guys. We're doing a middle-of-the-night trip to Stellar Basin. We'll stop somewhere in the middle and uh, grab it. Yep. Looks like I can get some wood while I'm out. Which means I can get more upgrades. Oh yeah, we're gonna dredge. Yup. Damn, dude, finally got the wood we need. That gets us every upgrade for this tier. <laughs> like, instantly we have every upgrade for this tier now. We just need the money for it. Damn, my guy gets spooked really quick. I don't know why he's so scared, too. Like, we have incredible power. We are very strong. Skirt! Time to get the hell out of here. We ignore the fog. We run. We are going straight for the Stellar Isles, Chet. We are not slowing down. What's that? I need a Bissell to fish that. Well, I can't do that. Whoa. I am going to fish up this. Imagine actually having a wreck, you know? Like, imagine crashing. Kind of embarrassing. It's, like, hard to do. I don't even want the metal right now. We don't really have the space. Is this also abyssal? 
No, this is just some weird, disturbed coastal crap. Firefly squid. Cool. Grab a couple of those. Aw. Yeah, I mean, chat, they're cute and all, but I bet they also taste really good as, like, a calamari. So, um, you know. So where the hell is this artifact? The laboratory's in ruins with equipment and research papers strewn about the place. Where do you want to look? I'll open the cupboards. You check the cupboards. Oh, cool. Uh, inspect the equipment. There's some strange looking prototype parts on the table, but you can't see any use of them right now. Uh, on the other side of the table, you find a hastily scrawled note. It reads, not safe, expect retaliation, Imme imminently evacuating to fort. Okay, look around on the floor. There are cracks of, on the base of the structure that grow to large gashes as you follow them along to the walls. Something extremely large and powerful created these holes. You slowly reach your arm into one. No, you fucking don't! Don't speak for me! You pluck an item from a gouge in the floor. Okay, cool. I'm really glad my guy did that. An old generator sputters and ticks over. Okay, that means we can get the versatile rod soon. Is there a place to sell here? That's the research outpost. I'm guessing like the island over here is for sale. Like for stuff we can actually sell. And then we'll go into the middle that looks really bad and try to fish up the crap we need. That's nothing. But we're gonna go do this first. That doesn't mean anything. Don't you fucking dare, I'm parking. Yeah, that's right, fuck off. Oh, um, hello, I wasn't expecting visitors. Who are you? I'm a fisherman. Ah, yes, I thought you had that look, but a fisherman all the way out here? Strange. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you all the same. I've not seen another soul in months. In fact, I could do with your help if you had the time. I need to go. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, I just don't fucking care. Um, what I need to do right now is go into the middle of that lake once I sleep and go fish up that, that, that treasure and be done with it. You know, like I just don't... busy. Chat, normalize not doing favors for every single person you meet on the fucking street, alright? Normalize not being immediately taken advantage of every single time someone looks at you, okay? Normalize having stuff to do that doesn't revolve around someone else. It's okay to decline things. But my side quests... <laughs> Where's my quest? Where's my quick little quest I gotta do? I got time. Got it. Ignore me. Oh, don't mind me. Ah! 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 Well, sometimes that just do be how the cookie crumbles. And for this fishing screen, that's just about it. That's just about it. That's just, and that is just about it. This game's a good time. Maybe we'll play more, maybe I'll beat the rest off stream and you can play it for yourself when it comes out tomorrow. The devs gave me a key to this, so it's pretty cool to get to play it early. But... Cool time. I've been looking forward to this for a while and it has not disappointed me. It's exactly what I expected this game to be, honestly, so... Pretty sick. Had a good time. Pretty sick. Two days. Comes out on the 30th. Oh, I thought it was tomorrow. Oh well.
Either way, within the next day or two, I'm sure you'll be... Gives me sunless sea slash skies vibes. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta do sunless skies. Not on stream, but like for myself. One of these days. Just never had the time. Those games are a lot. Anyways, chat. I'll be back tomorrow at the usual time. So thanks for coming on by. I may, there's a, ch there's a, I'm going to label it as a stream tomorrow. There's a small chance I may take tomorrow off because I'm planning on streaming through the weekend. Uh, if that's the case, then, uh, I'll be back on Thursday, but I'll probably be doing something small tomorrow. We'll probably do something, but yeah, keep your eyes peeled. I'll catch you then. Thanks for hanging out for fishing. Goodbye.